Welcome to Flagrant 2. It's your boy Schultz. We got Akash Singh here, Alex Media, Mark Gagnon, the mm. Truffle. What's up? Um, and uh, Mark thinks I'm crazy for something, but I I believe it to be 100% true. Okay. Um, and uh, Mark, what is it? I, what is, I won't say I don't think you're crazy. Okay. I, I, I think you're kind of backtracking crazy. already. I think you're kind of crazy. See? See? I think See? you're inconsistent. That's what. See, it's not inconsistent. Oh, he's calling you inconsistent, it's not inconsistent. bro. Inconsistent. Them's inconsistent. fighting words. Inconsistent is worse than crazy. That's yeah, way I mean, worse. I'm inconsistent. We know that about hey, Hippocrates, bro. Yeah, exactly. So that's <laughs> nothing new. But with this, I'm consistent. But yeah. what is it? What is it? So we were talking about how bad the weather was in New York. Okay. And Andrew just sitting at at lunch goes, "Yeah, man, like you think you're." You think they're doing it on purpose? No, 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 no. That's what you said. I didn't say you think. I go, I think. <laughs> yeah, what you think. I think they're doing it on purpose. I think they're seeding the clouds. I go, hey. He goes, yeah, seeding the clouds. They're seeding the clouds. I was like, what are you saying? They're seeding the clouds. <laughs> what is that? Guys, this is what they did John, in China. What, when Mark thinks you're conspiratorial, some oh shit has gone God. left. Bud, <laughs> some shit has gone, it's gone left. It's gone right, bro. I'm it's telling gone you, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, bro, this is, this is what they did in China for the Olympics. Remember, nobody could breathe in China when they had the Olympics, so they started seeding the clouds, make the air a little bit more fresh. You can make shit rain <laughs> if you want to. It's a fact. And so people what, what people was, know this. What's the motive? What, why, why? People know this. Why? <laughs> this is known. And so, wait, who's controlling the weather? You don't care. Man, he done took, sorry. He done took your shit, too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, hey. Boomer. He took your shit, too, Mark. <laughs> listen, listen. What, Jesus? I'm, I'm, I'm wide like with it. You, I'm wide with it. He's spinning out here, I go wide with it? No, he's doing my Jesus shit, bro. Yo, when you go in, it's, a, it's some triple force. If you really want to spin, you got to tuck <laughs> oh, it in. Yeah, For yeah, me, yeah. if I go wide, I'm trying to slow it down. What I'm trying to tell you guys is, if you guys don't know about this, that's fine. What I'm trying to tell you is, motherfuckers out there are making it rain. Okay, <laughs> they want us inside. Who's, so who, who's, who's the man? motherfuckers? Who Yo, it's Magic City outside. Who huh? Motherfuckers are son. Who is it, bro? Who's <laughs> controlling the weather? Fuck they are. Who's you want controlling me to the say weather? It? You want me to tell they, you? Who? I want to Say it. I say know. it. Christians. What? Nobody ever says that. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> it's usually all the Jews' fault, but it's probably Christians. It was up to. Why are we controlling? That is true, yo. Listen, yo, y'all got numbers. Y'all be running shit. What do we do about the weather? Christians, what the Christians do, they're little puppeteers and they put the Jews out there so everybody hates them, but it was really the Christians that were mm, controlling They're the shit. fall guys. They've been controlling oh. shit for the longest. You said that the Jews killed Jesus. Y'all really did that. <laughs> right? <laughs> y'all really Wait, did that shit. Oh, he died for your sins. That Why wasn't you guys oh, figuring that's it out? also on y'all. I have a good point, actually. Yeah. All I'm saying is that's what the Yo, that's what Christians talk. do. Thank you, they, Jews. They put the Jews out there in front. They <laughs> hey. take the brunt of the criticism, the hey. brunt of the controversy. Y'all not making it rain. You can't rain. You hate the rain. Hate Jews the rain. in the rain? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They went to the desert for a reason. Yeah. Okay. You, the rain. you can't work in the rain. Yeah, they're not trying to take over Florida. Oh, no, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That'd be crazy. Man, yeah. that's right. You pick wrong with Florida. You guys pick wrong with real estate. I gotta say, <laughs> you choose the wrong fucking places. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? That's crazier than your cloud hey, theory. Let me take back. Let me take back. <laughs> with real estate, they're pretty good. But when it comes to like a place where like their people should go live, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not good at homelands. Exactly, homelands. You're not good at homelands. Bad people. at homelands. Yeah, you're, you're great landlords. But you're not good at finding the place yourselves to live in. Exactly. Yeah. That's great. Well said. Well said. Buddy. Back to making it rain. I believe that people are making it rain so we don't go outside, that we don't fraternize, we don't go to party, we don't go club. Everybody hangs out inside, watches Netflix, and et cetera. <laughs> you, he, bro, the you don't think part, that that's true? Yeah, but it rains every day in New York. Every day this summer, Al. Has it rained every single day in New York this summer? It's fucking July. You're in a hoodie. You're in a hoodie in July. He's You're not doing green. a bit. He's not doing a bit. Green. You went green in July. He brought you this up to me that. in confidence. Son. Like he said it to me in confidence. Like, yo, like, do you think this is going on? Yo, in confidence <laughs> and with confidence. Okay? <laughs> he's, Full confidence he's on in, display. He's being dead serious. Yo. Son, you know what got me? Rain. You know what got me? Son, is they're this. doing it to keep people inside and and, and the Netflix. <laughs> watch it right now. <laughs> he came up on watch it. Watch he it right ran out of shit. Watch so it right fast. now. Watch what the weather is this week. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, shit. It's Listen. Man, sunny. Ah, damn, man. Damn, man. Eighty and sunny. No, 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 They're going to make it rain Wednesday. They're going to make it rain Wednesday. And they're going to make it rain Sunday. Yo, oh, why don't they no make idea. it rain in California where it's legit fucking drought for decades on it? They want people to burn. <laughs> yeah. There's overpopulation. There's too much traffic in California. Burn them out. Uh-huh. 
That's what they're saying. Burn them out. So you don't want to keep them inside to stop the traffic? You nope. know Californians don't drive when it rains. Yes, they do. They get into their car and drive. They have covers on the car. No, Not they don't. They can't drive in the rain. Californians can't drive in the rain, bro. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Vroom, vroom. You know what I mean? 356. That's, your confidence <laughs> in that fell apart real quick. Uh, Not so everybody has a drop top. Porsche. Porsche. Okay? The VW Porsche. You said vroom. <laughs> I should be vrooming, though. No, but can, let, let's be serious. Got you, one guys, room. you guys, listen, y'all don't know anything about science, so you can't refute what I'm saying. I know everything about science. Shut up. <laughs> you don't even believe in science. You don't believe in fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking nothing Have you ever seen science. a dinosaur? <laughs> Have you ever seen a dinosaur? Have you ever seen someone see the clouds? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Why is it so hard to believe you can see the clouds? But that, you ever see the uh, that logic means condensation on, on a Pepsi? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's clouds, okay? You never had a Pepsi right there. Look, this about to be condensed too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you about to have some oh conversation oh no, on this You lose it right now, so <laughs> he's gonna be over. Damn, so body, ready, son. So. What Damn, is up? Body, son. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is what's happening. The water Not all around the information in the world is on your phone. This is what I'm doing to your phone right now. Just like <laughs> Yo, that's another reason you're crazy. I forgot about that. Because you gotta get off the phone. That when you cross your legs, yeah. when you go like oh, that, yeah, I go dick up balls that. down. You're crazy. Listen, that's that. also no, no, crazy. That's also crazy. Dick up balls down is crazy. Dick up balls down. It's crazy, right? Why? Why not? Y'all don't, crazy, dick up, y'all don't just tuck your dick into your belly button <laughs> when it's all soft. Y'all never take That's your legit soft crazy. dick and tuck it into your belly button <laughs> on soft. I dock my dick in my belly. That's fire. not the weird part, bro. What? The weird part is that why, you know why I go balls down. You're sitting on your balls underneath yeah, your body. The, yeah. That's the crazy. Just one dick. Why is that weird? I'm in a soft. That's hair. inconsistent, bro. Care, that's inconsistent. Good. Why is Yo, that go balls up? You know what I mean? Yeah, my dick is up right now. My balls are down. I have one ball. That's oh. There it is. Dick up balls down. Dick up balls down dick up balls down if y'all had balls like this you would do it too y'all don't you're jealous i don't understand how you can do it it's called having a huge cock that's what it is no that's probably why that's, i'm lost right yeah, now yeah, i don't get it exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's having a huge cock guys sorry <laughs> sorry you don't understand it a lot of shit y'all don't understand is that today. a medical diagnosis yeah it is <laughs> it is for real i had a doctor tell me <laughs> that's how you got the hemorrhoids i said like that that should have just uh, you're just fucking that's why you're shooting all the You say it all the time like your balls you are mad veiny. It, That's why, bro. What? You're cutting off, off your balls. Yeah, you cutting off blood flow or something. Fuck it up hey, your you balls, might be right How much longer do you think they're going to get? Yo, check your sperm count. Yeah, bro. You, you, you're talking about unseating your balls. <laughs> <laughs> you're losing your seat, son. <laughs> you're killing them, bro. got to seed your nutsack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Well, get the juice and seed them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> get, some, get some condensation going in your ball bag. <laughs> Bruh, fuck y'all. <laughs> you don't think it's a little bit weird that it's been raining every single day in the summer of New York City? We're talking about hot, hot, hot summer New York City? You know, can I tell you dead ass, when I moved to New York, I was like, son, it rains a lot here in the summer. That's my <laughs> dead ass thought. No, you're not. You're retrofitting that. You're retro <laughs> retrofitting. <laughs> that is super retrofitting. That's retrofitting. No, that's not retrofitting. You just retrofitted that. Nah, yeah, yeah. You hate New York, bro. I know you. You hate New York. Look I at your shirt. Look at your shirt, you uh, fucking piece of shit. Uh, you guys insulted my uh, shirt, so I, I came with it today. Yeah. He hates New York, dog. He so wants up. it to rain every single day, so we're miserable here. Uh, he hates it. Uh, he hates it, dude. Uh, <laughs> He's a hater, bro. He's a hater, bro. You're hey. a fucking hater, dog. Hater, dog. You're Yo, a hater. I'm so happy because I thought you were making fun of him. <laughs> you're making fun of me. I'm so mad now, dog. Bro. He hates New York, dog. He wants it to rain every single day. He's happy. And he it rains up, all the happy. time, bro. Say what? It rains all the time. Yeah, and I, re I remember saying that to my aunt, and she was, that guy was a fucking idiot. She was like, yeah, any place that snows a lot, it rains a lot. Whoa. It doesn't snow a lot here. What are you talking about? Yeah, Only when they want to snow. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> yo, yo, they haven't made it snow in years. Think about it. Yeah. Back in the day, it mad snow. torrential snowstorms, dog. Snow. It what was, was the crazy. For that? What was the reason why they wanted to snow? Because Thanksgiving parade, it's more, way more lit. <laughs> it never rained. It never snowed before, on Thanksgiving. Way more lit, it never snowed on Thanksgiving. Yes, it did. Go back in the day. I was there with my dad looking at Snoopy night before, <laughs> walking around Upper West Side. <laughs> Fun. At Damn. the preview, you always go preview. You don't go day of. What are we fucking from Jersey? <laughs> and you want a white Christmas as well, you know? White Christmas. Come on. Money, you gotta just keep Why that wouldn't shit? they have a snow on Christmas? Who wants a white Christmas? Well, because fucking than Black the Lives Matter been yapping all goddamn winter. <laughs> we can't have a white fucking Christmas. Yeah. Not, we don't come out in the cold. So. That, that's <laughs> true. All the marches only that's in the warm true. weather. So oh, they gotta crank up that snow. <laughs> 
Crank up the snow, boys. Well, not, I, well actually, no. Minnesota, it was mad snowy, right? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. When they were protesting? Nah. Also, blacks there waves. are cool with the cold. I thought that's. I thought that would make them make more fire. Blacks there are cool with the cold. Minnesota blacks can handle oh, the yeah, cold. Oh, yeah. That was a different black. Yeah. What do you mean? The they're cold Somalians. Blacks, bro. They can't handle no fucking cold. What? They're Somalians. They can't handle no fucking cold. No, dude. They're built for it, dude. Yeah. Somalians? Somalians. Absolutely. 100%. Part of me thinks it's like a pirate thing. <laughs> yeah. That could be like, too. You're out on the seas in the water. Like, it's chilly. Wind they're built for discomfort, dog. Yeah. They're built for discomfort. That I can agree with. 100%. So I don't know about cold, cold, though. You replace hunger with cold, and then they're 100% hunger. <laughs> <laughs> they're good with discomfort, though. Cold blocks out the hunger. Exactly. Okay, I got yeah. you. Yeah, they're with I got you. These people are ready. I had I a joke you. about that, how, like, their women are finally dressed appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> Covered head to toe. That's, <laughs> that's, that's like, why they moved there. They, just, they moved to Minnesota, and it's yeah. like, okay, yeah, it's kind of nice. <laughs> I was on my side here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lutherans. Oh, fuck. <laughs> But it yeah. was you guys. No, you're not Lutheran. No. Yo, How dare you. the big lesson from this is thank you, Jews. You know what I mean? Why? Kill Jesus for our sins. Yeah, that's kind of true. Jesus died for our sins. But Who Jews, killed him? Jews didn't kill him. That was Catholics. How did Catholics, Catholics didn't exist, Jews bro? Jews as a scapegoat for all your shit. Oh, Damn. Damn. That's Al. God Damn. right there, yo. That was good. Damn, Al. Fact checking us. Jeez. Hmm. But now you, you use Jews as a scapegoat for all your shit. All that Epstein stuff, it's a bunch of fucking Catholics at the top, guaranteed. <laughs> Whoa! A bunch of fucking rich did Epstein Catholics do anything? at the top. Epstein did stuff. Can I tell you guys something? I've been waiting for Can I tell you guys something? If you really want to know about Epstein, guess who I saw last night? Ooh. Guess who I saw at dinner last night? Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell. Not Ghislaine. No. Oh. Prince Andrew's daughter and husband. Really? Yes. Beatrice, I believe her name is. Mm. And I almost pulled up on that royal bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I almost pulled up. But then I remembered you cannot punish the, the daughter for the sins of the father. Mm -hmm. okay. I think there was like a Game of Thrones episode or something about that. Or maybe it was <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> like, dude, that's your moral code. <laughs> yeah, but I, I remember that. I was like, yeah. it's not her fault that her dad is a disgusting pedophile. That yeah. being said, she must have known this whole time. And no magic in the muggle world. That's None. Also, that's also, You're not allowed to have magic. Yeah, that's world. also yeah, important. Yeah. That was important to remember. You're all fucking one. muggles every single <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 chill, dude, chill. Chill, watch fucking your fucking muggle, mouth, bro. dog. I'm watch honest, your dude. fucking mouth, I'm bro. The way that hey, you hey, hold you wand, fucking mud bro. blood. Watch your <laughs> fucking see, mouth, whenever bro. Whenever I see you holding a wand, I'm like, look at this mugget over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cradling that fucking wand. Surprised you don't swallow it. <laughs> fucking muggles, dude. Hey. Just disgusting. Uh, um... <laughs> Okay, can we actually do a podcast here? Yeah, let's be serious. Now that we've all agreed I'm on I'm loving science? not being the continued scapegoat. I was oh. like, Andrew, go. I'm just no, no, no. Up. I would like to say oh, one thing. A guy came up, up to Vala yesterday, uh, no, two days ago, while we were in uh, glorious Denver, and he goes, Vala, are you Vala? And Vala goes, yeah. He goes, you're the guy that gets way more pussy than Dove. <laughs> <laughs> So you're known for getting second most pussy. Yeah, no. that's actually pretty good. It is pretty good. Though. It's yeah, good, yeah. Pass, pass off the torch. Just, I just want quality now. Of what I really think. Man, that sounds always like been second into quality. place, bro. Yeah. Yeah, but more than just looks. What do you care about now? Someone could bring the Shabbat. Oh, you want Jew. Uh, He's been fake wanting to date Jews. I know. For yeah, so I've been saying since I met him. <laughs> I, one Jew. Never I haven't one seen Jew. you I've seen one Jews Jewish. everywhere, though. Yeah. You're everywhere. in Miami, You're dog. in New York. You kind of insulted Jewish Just woman walk also. up the block. Have yeah, dude. Roll a penny down the street. What do you say? <laughs> Roll a penny touch. <laughs> 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 Roll a penny down the beat. There'll be a fucking stampede of them chasing after. Chasing after. Just penny. looking up Fifth Avenue, like, is Simba's dad about to die, or is there a fucking nickel roll? Should have made a new Passover. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Dude, No that is true You're closeted bro You're yeah. closeted You're a closeted Chicks a uh, lover You're a closeted Chicks a lover Yeah oh. You're not gay You are A closeted Christian Whoa oh, You shit. like dating Christian girls No but The first couple Were Christian girls I'm, I'm a recovering Christian You haven't recovered dog Maybe that's You're addicted You're addicted to that it, Christian right. puss <laughs> dude yeah, You love dog. that Drippy Christian puss <laughs> Yo You love a nice Drippy yeah. Christian Pussy <laughs> Dub needs his crucifix You know what I mean He needs his crucifix <laughs> Yo that's so true dude You love Christian girls bro What is it about Christian girls What is it is it what is it about women is going to heaven going that, that you want to date so badly? 
There's nothing. It's the girl. It's the. You love it. It's lo- I don't know. <laughs> he don't loves know it, it, dude. Dude, he's, he is. He's spinning right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, it is bad. You it is bad. Yeah. You can feel they're going to heaven or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first. Like, I'm jealous that like Andrew's lady has a. I mean, her 23 and me that would qualify. Jew. She's Jew. But she still uh, feels yeah. Christian. She's Jew. She's Jew. I'm dating a full fucking Jew, bro. <laughs> Dude, I am. This oh walking around my, my apartment. <laughs> we know. We know. We know. Heaven. Say whatever you want right now. Yeah, it's getting okay. cut. Oh, Get yeah. it all out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let all real, the f dude. words fly in the world. It don't matter. No, 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 for real. I'm dating a full fucking Jew, dude. <laughs> dude, it's and I, yeah. But she's culturally Christian. Yeah. Right. So that's yeah. the that is the distinguishing factor. She's culturally Christian. But that's what Dove needs. Jew. That's what Dove wants. That's yeah. that's what Dove is implying. Oh. Because you get to say she's a Jewish, but she's. <laughs> but you don't have to deal with all that Jewish, Jewish shit. <laughs> but culturally, you guys know Shabbat is lit. Right? I don't you know what that. Shabbat just, is, bro. bro stop it's dinner. dinner. Just like, call it dinner. Like, what is Shabbat? Everybody makes a big fucking deal of this. They all hang out on Friday and have dinner before they turn the lights out for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't leave really? the lights on. But wait, <laughs> like, stop acting like it's, it's not a that thing. Lit. Like, it's not a thing. Yeah, go around dinner. a table, you're just like, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah Black people do that. For I see that show. I see that show on Netflix. It's the Sabbath. I know. You just pick up the No, the show on Netflix, when they're at the table, they're just like, unorthodox? Yeah. Unorthodox. Yeah, yeah. That oh. shit was fire. Yeah. I thought that was love below the spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> below the spectrum? What, wait, That's even on crazier the spectrum, show. Dog. No, he's talking about below the spectrum. Below the spectrum. <laughs> he's talking about below the spectrum as a sequel. <laughs> yeah. It's way crazy. Oh, that's, Yo, that's love below be the spectrum fire, is son. sick, dude. Because yeah. if you're within the spectrum, then shit is kind of like normal. It's a little oddy. That's all. Just yeah. two vegetables dating right there. <laughs> 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 They're not paralyzed. <laughs> but mentally. mentally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, um, but listen, now that we've got everything worked out, I think it's time that we start our podcast. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wait, we also what? didn't ask Akash about his, uh, his honeymoon. Oh, yeah, you went on a honeymoon. Yeah, it was great, dude. It was great. Yeah. Good to be back. Good to have wedding stuff out it of the way. It wasn't great. Be honest about it. <laughs> <laughs> be honest about it, dude. No, I think it was great. Look how nice he no, was. He, got like, he nice looks tan. refreshed. Uh, Akash is nice different, tan. bro. You, He's but good. You, it's good to be you, back. It wasn't good. It was yeah, insect I mean, infested. You oh, yeah, yeah. There was mad insects. Where'd you go? Four seasons, and it was insect infested. And tell them, this is the Bahamas, and tell the Tell the people what they said to you. They they literally look at Akash after he's complained twice about insects, and they're like, "Well, we don't know who brought them in." They <laughs> thought that it could be thought it could be them that brought the insects. The Delta variant. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was racist. It was super racist. It was racist. Dude, yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Remember when we were doing the show in DC and they put you and all of your uh your family in room Seven Eleven? Yes. I remember the <laughs> real what? thing. That happened. I remember that. We stayed in hotel. Yeah, I and remember. They that. had their. I, what happened? It sounds like I'm making it up. It sounds like I'm making it up. What happened? I don't even what know if it was that? DC. No, he came to visit. My family visited New York City, and then he came to hang out, meet my brother, and I think my my cousin's sister basically was there. And they put us in room 7 Eleven. I didn't even pick up on it because I don't look for racism. Mm-hmm. But Andrew was like, <laughs> I do. They put you in room 7 Eleven? I, I go, Where's Are my you friends? fucking Akash kidding me? Singh. Then she goes, Yeah, it's room 7 Eleven. I go, Wait. <laughs> 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 What do you mean? And I think it's happened <laughs> another <laughs> time. She didn't even and the other time like I knew about it. And the other time might have been DC where I was doing a show with the Brownish guys and they put one of us in room 7 Eleven. And yep. I was like, This. Oh, that's now so it fun. feels uh, intentional. Yep. This is my airport, my new airport. <laughs> yeah. If, when I would they do say it like that, they could say 7 1 1. But they said 7 Eleven. They said 7 Eleven. They, yeah. fuck, they leave the off and everything. <laughs> mm-hmm. And your dumb ass didn't even pick it up. They said it right to your face. Nah, they had it hey, right I don't look for car. racism. You know what I mean? I'm an open-minded mm. guy. I just live my life. Mm. Damn, bro. Mm. And then when you were like, they put you in 7-Eleven, you got to be kidding me. I was like, wait, isn't 9-Eleven the racist one? I was so like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, dead ass. I was like, what? Oh, Uh-oh. hey. <laughs> <laughs> But that is kind of crazy, right? It's a little, it's felt a little intentional, a little personal. Mm. Black people are racist, bro. I mean, mm. it was a black person that did that. It was a black It's a hotel. little game. You wouldn't play that game. Yeah, but you, you got to return the favor. If there's a black dude staying at an Indian hotel. Ooh, what do you put them in? What? What, what <laughs> room on. do you put them in, bro? Man. Do they have three-fifths of a room? <laughs> <laughs> do they have that? Put in 911, and whenever they call, you just never show up? <laughs> <laughs> no. Shit at them? <laughs> They're like, can I have eggs? You're like, oh yeah, we're gonna beat the shit out of you, 100. <laughs> what room do you put the black people in? <laughs> what room? Wow, what, what room? Sorry. What, what happened? What? I don't know. He called it. Oh, 
But what room would you put them in? Black people? I don't yeah. know. It's him. He came up with this shit. Yeah, I like. I'm that waiting one. on you. No, I said <laughs> I said nine one one. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I think there's a more racist one. Yes. <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? I ordered food. These motherfuckers. I keep telling. Just them, leave yes. the fucking yeah, I know. food. <laughs> Holy shit! Yes. Yeah. Don't you know that we're recording a podcast? <laughs> Have you never walked into the middle of a podcast, sir? <laughs> <laughs> okay, he leave the him. food. He got him. He, he's scared. Is he, he is he gone yet? Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh, I heard well, the Can I guess then. what he looks like? Uh, yes. Is it was he Mexican or Asian with a full trench coat, even though it's 95 degrees out? <laughs> Asian, Asian with a full I, trench I coat. I figured Asian. Yeah. Yeah. Full yeah. Asian's coat. got one outfit, doesn't matter the season. Yeah. I never seen an Asian in a bubble jacket. It's just full trench coat. Yeah. Doesn't matter the season. Yeah. Okay. Mittens. Because they gotta hide the sword. The what? Sword. The oh, sword. Yeah. The samurais. Oh, that type of age. I was implying they're samurai. Damn, get sushi? That was fucking racist, yeah. bro. Yeah. He got sushi. I mean, You're a racist. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we can we begin <laughs> this podcast? Please? Yeah. Can yeah. we? Yeah, let's be Finally, serious. fucking A. Um, I because I actually have a serious story I'd like to tell you guys about. <laughs> okay. Let's be serious. If there's any scammers, there's any hustlers that are listening right now, and you're trying to make some money doing illegal shit, I just want to say in the beginning, I don't condone any of this. But this is wrong. You shouldn't do this. You shouldn't break the law. In no way mm -hmm. are we supporting the breaking of the law mm -hmm. on this podcast. Yeah. That being said, being said, if somebody was to break the law, here is a great way to do it where you can make a lot of money fast. Okay? Mm -hmm. Please don't harm anybody. Okay? There's this this blogger girl that my my uh, Jew wife ought to be. <laughs> uh, my Jew fiance. <laughs> His Jew Beyonce. Bro. Yeah, this, this Jew broad that I live with, and it is going to be my wife that I'm going to make little Julets, little Jew kids <laughs> with. <laughs> Yo, Can you read my Hasidic? You know what's crazy? My kids are going to be Jewish, and yours aren't. Wow! <laughs> wow! Isn't that crazy? Oh, <laughs> so fuck. Yeah. Raise him Hasidic just to rub it in his face. Please. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm going modern orth. Hey, that's why he wants everybody to post a blue square so he can see which Christian girls he could fuck. Oh, mm. my God. So you weed out the blues. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a fucking sellout. All right, guys, we're taking a break for a second because the infamous tour is coming to Omaha this weekend. We'll be at the waiting room this weekend. Make sure you pull up, get some tickets, theandrewschultz.com. Also, we got all these amazing shows coming up. We got Charlotte. Uh, then we're out there in Dallas, Houston, Tucson, L.A. We added a bunch of other shows. We added in Chicago, the Chicago Theater. We added in San Francisco, the Masonic Theater. We got all these amazing shows. Go to theandrewschultz.com. Get those tickets. Uh, thank you guys so much for selling out these shows. And thank you so much for continuing to buy tickets after we added more. Go get it. It's going to be absolutely wild. Uh, the infamous tour of theandrewschultz.com. Akash, what you got? Yo, this weekend, I am in Baltimore at Magooby's Joke House. Hurry up. Bring that ass through. Sell these shows out. August 5th through August 8th, I'm back in Florida. We might move there if everything shuts down, but I'm going to be there at Naples Off the Hook Comedy Club, August 5th through 8th. September 23rd through 25th, I'm going to be at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival in Austin. They're letting me headline the show, so hurry up and come through. October 8th and 9th, I'm at DC in the Comedy Loft. And October 15th, I'm in Toronto at the Grand Girard Theater. I know they have not released the tickets yet, so guys, keep hitting them up. Y'all are hitting me up. Hit up the Grand Girard Theater. Tell them to put up the ticket link, and let's sell that bitch out ASAP. Tickets are at akashsing.com. Alex. Guys, if you're in the Tri-State area looking for a place to record your podcast, head over to WTF. Alex. And guys, if you're in the tri-state area and need to record your podcast, head over to WTFMediaStudios.com and you can... Oh my God! <laughs> Alex! Hey guys, if you're in the tri-state area and if you're looking for a place to record <laughs> your podcast, head over to WTFMediaStudios.com and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and this podcast is brought to you by... Drew, <laughs> what's up, baby? Hey, guys, oh my God. this podcast is brought to you by the hardest dicks in the gang, okay? And those dicks are brought to you by Blue Chew, hmm. okay? Same active ingredient that's inside Seattle, so Viagra, but we only fuck with the chew, and we've been satisfying these ladies, maybe for a short amount of time, but we've been satisfying them <laughs> with hard dangalangs because of it. So you should get out there and do it, too. Ladies, you deserve it. If you're listening right now, lady assholes, get your man on the chew, at least for a weekend, at least a little trial. You deserve to have your back blown out as well. And fellas, if you're gay... Just murder your man with a big, hard, blue chew cock. <laughs> okay? Love it. I'm just saying. The opportunity is yours. Go out there and get it, and you can get it for free. 
All you got to do is use our promo code flagrant. Simple as that. Okay, you pay the $5 in shipping and you get the free hardest dick you've ever had in your life. Bluechew.com. Make sure you use the promo code flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. Anyway, so anyway, scammers, listen up. Hustlers, listen up. Okay, so don't do this. I'm saying don't do this. My girl follows this blogger or vlogger, right? And she's a fashion blogger, right? And her name is uh, Tamara Kalinich is mm -hmm. her name, right? I think she lives in Paris, whatever. And uh, she talks about, you know, getting bags and how to get bags from these fancy places, et cetera. Mm -hmm. The bags are very hard to get. It's kind of like sneakers with us. You right, know, like right. a, a, a drop <clears throat> yeah. is hard to get a hold of. You have to pay crazy resale. You know, yeah. there's no flight club for bags, but there are these resale places, right? So turns out, all these fashion bloggers, right? They film all the shit in their house. Mm -hmm. They don't make that much money, right? They're not broke, but they're not swimming in it. We're not talking about like millionaires, et cetera. But what they are is selling a lifestyle. A lot of times they get offered like free trips to certain places to promote a hotel, right. to promote a, even like a, a new restaurant, these right. types of things. Uh, these expensive brands will give them bags. They don't have the money to pay for the bags, but you get a free bag from Prada, a free bag from Hermes. Maybe not free bag from Hermes, but like bags from these like super high exudes. So... They're doing these videos. They're doing it in their apartments. They're in, like, the windows of their apartments. They're maybe on their balconies. You know where these girls live. It's not that yeah, hard. You can right. see the building that's across the street. Like, it's very easy. Yeah. They're saying what city they're in. This girl got robbed for $300,000 worth of shit. Mm. Woo! Okay? They Woo. just came into her fucking window from the courtyard in her building while she was gone. She was gone. They knew that she was gone because I think it was, like, Paris Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. So they knew that she was at some and kind of event. she's vlogging and saying where she is. Exactly. Now, she said she's careful about it. Like, I never say where I am. Like, I will tag a place, but after I've left the place. Right. Yeah. But the thing that's really interesting about this is this is the easiest come up. Because the stuff that these girls have is the most flippable shit on the street. Yes. If you get a necklace for $100,000... Who are you selling that necklace to? Like, you got to find a jeweler. The jeweler's going to go, I know you stole this motherfucking yeah. necklace. I'm going to give you 10% of the value. Mm -hmm. A bag? Right to eBay. Make even more money on Stock it. Stock X, whatever e the fuck, like, done. Uh, the watches, all this shit. She had, I think, uh, what was it? $300,000, 330 euros worth of shit that was missing. Three Patek Philippe watches. That's half a million dollars. Half a million Patek Philippe dollars. watches, get the fuck out. It's the most expensive watch in the world. Crazy, right? You got a um, bunch of these bags. She had, uh, like, a whole bunch of shit that was taken. This is the beginning of this. And the reason this is the beginning is because usually the people that can afford this type of stuff, right? They got security around them. If you got three Patek Philippe's, right? Yeah. You got security around you. You're moving in a different way. You're in super, some super expensive building. The thing with this happening right now is these fashion vloggers are getting all this expensive shit that they could never afford. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now they don't have the lifestyle to protect it. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. you got half a million dollars worth of shit in your house just chilling that can be easily removed and nobody even knows the difference, you just got to come in with a backpack, yeah. right? And you have no security. You're not paying for like 24-hour can't afford security. Because they can't. This is, these are the marks. Mm -hmm. These are the perfect setups. This is not Kim Kardashian getting robbed in a hotel. Mm -hmm. This is the average girl that might be making under six figures, right? Yeah. So she can't afford the protection for all the shit she got in there. And she's displaying all the shit she got constantly. She's on Instagram bragging. Yo, here's my new Hermes. And the scammers are just going, oh, word? Mm. Right. You don't even have to case it because like she's showing, like, here's my room. Here's the door. Here's where the uh, mm. bathroom is. Like She's showing you everything. Son, I think this is the beginning, and I think all these people are getting How clapped. did it take so long? That's a great question. <laughs> I mean, Son, like... it's a great question. <laughs> we were raised, about... different generation, no internet exposing your whole life, no social media. We're raised, don't, let it, don't flaunt your, your shit, because mm -hmm. you'll get robbed. Mm -hmm. Their whole life is flaunting their shit. Mm -hmm. How are they not getting robbed? Mm -hmm. I don't understand how it's not happening all the time already. Especially when, when they're not at a, a, a level where they can protect the shit they're flaunting. Yeah. Because usually if you're paying for something right you understand that you have to maintain a lifestyle that can protect that yeah right like if you buy a fancy car you have to have enough money for a garage yep right yep. just kind of like basic knowledge of yeah. stuff right yeah. or if you i'm trying to think of another thing like if you get uh, a tesla model from a guy who can't afford one you put it in a garage <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. you know, damn you bro he was <laughs> him bro that's foul yeah, that was nice. You're not coming to Shabbat, bro. Yeah, yeah you're not invited <laughs> to Shabbat. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Where am I going to get my challah bread, huh? <laughs> Every corner in the Yeah, city. exactly. <laughs> anyway, it... Well, this it's, story was happening in 2013. They'd made that movie Bling Ring when, when the first time you really heard about this was from, like, when Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan, because they were in this jet set crowd, that that's when, like, the people breaking in. It was the first time you heard that it wasn't, like, ski mask, like, just adult men breaking in. It was, like, 
and people that were at the same clubs, yeah. girls. Gr- uh, half of the, the groups were girls that would party with them and they would do that. I have a take on that. I Go. think all that shit was fake. That's possible. Well, I think yeah, all that shit was insurance fake. Insurance fraud. Insurance yeah. fraud. Yeah. So your point, if this girl that that was happening now, yeah. if you're getting a bag for free, mm-hmm. but then you're insuring that bag and you can get money back from so, that. Mm. So that's another thing, right? You could easily... <laughs> She can't sell the shit she gets because then she's going to ruin the relationship she mm-hmm. has with these brands. Yeah. Right? So how do you make money off of things you have? Yeah. Right? Without selling them. Mm. Mm-hmm. You got robbed. You can only do this one time. It's, but it's like, to me, maybe she's that dumb. But to me, the whole reason you do this is to try to become a seven-figure person. For what? You try to ascend to the next level. You can't ever do this again. And you are that person. But and he, like, how much can you make you selling nut, though, it? I have a sympathy. But, but here's the thing, you you might you don't have to do it again. Maybe now she's the most talked He's about famous. Right, yeah. in that circle. Oh my god, you got robbed. It's like being arrested for a dude is cool. <laughs> being robbed for a girl is cool. Like you got so much cool shit that motherfuckers try to rob you. And maybe the company. Yeah, it's a doesn't, true crime podcast. Maybe the company <laughs> doesn't even care because just saying protect Philippe here. Six hundred thousand people heard protect Philippe. Fam, fam, multiple the companies times. are through the roof. Our goods are robbable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, our goods are worth breaking. And now, not only does she, is it seen on her little vlog, now, podcasts, our podcast, podcasts like us, news outlets, mm. they're all mentioning these brands, mm. and it's just word of mouth advertising. But go. And the brands have sympathy for her, and they're going to be like, oh, let's give you the newest one of yeah. this, and the newest one. And then one of they that. look good. And PR, she got and her, that's another advertising for and them. And she got her insurance money, so now she now just she got the bag. Now she up. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, she's, she's good. Yeah. That's smart. If, if she did that. If that happened. But it's kind of wild, though, right? Like, don't you see these girls as potentially the new marks? Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, how's it not happening? You just got to know how to, like, seek them out, though. Because, like, this girl's audience, I'm sure, is all young female, like, fashion girls. Yeah, like, like the only reason I know this exists is because of my girl. Right. Works in fashion. Whereas, like, this, yeah. this happens with rappers all the time where, like, they're posting about it, but, like, they're appealing to an audience of people that might be more inclined to steal shit. Right. Yeah, and Whereas, they flaunt more because they have, like, a bunch of money around their neck. Right, exactly. It's way easier to just steal that one thing than to try to but go they're case also somebody's rolling, house. Yeah, with, they're rolling deep. Security indeed. and, like, if <laughs> not you... Not always, though. Not always, mm-hmm. but if you, you know if you're going to rob a rapper that talks about how he kills people, you got to be prepared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if you kill. think he's full of it, he might not be. True. You I don't, don't think... You right. show up with a gun to these girls' house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you literally just get in the front door and you say, give me everything, what they going to do? Yeah. <laughs> literally, what are they going to do? But like, Start vlogging. But like in the hood, for example, a lot of drug dealers get robbed all the time because they're doing something illegal. So it's like they can't go to the cops. Right, right. So I think rappers also kind of, you know, some of them are on the line with things. So it's like they tend to be like, oh, I'll deal with it in the streets. But just raw go animal fear? Like that. You Sorry. can't. You can't snitch yeah. because you talk so much shit about how snitches exactly. get snitches. Yeah. But then it's more risk to go rob these types of people because it's like, oh, hey, if I get you on camera, I'm going to the cops. No, but I'm saying just raw, oh, I, I hear what no? saying. just raw fear, animal fear. If I rob these rappers, it's a thing. In that moment, it's a fucking thing. That's, I think, a more primal fear than, oh, they won't be afraid to go to the cops, blah, blah, blah. I just got to be a little smarter about that, but I'm not getting into a fucking potential shootout if I rob some female vlogger. True. You know what I mean? But it's, and now yeah. with the mask, sorry to cut you, but like... Oh, yeah. You just hop in the back of a cab, Pay cash. You got a mask on the whole time. Not an Uber. Just a cab. Mask Color on context. The whole time. Glasses. Hat. You're good. Still difficult, bro. What? Like, you you got a, a cab has to be there. How many cabs we see? It's Ubers everywhere now. No, you can get you cabs got, on the street. Yeah, but you can also. Bro. In New York. Not anyplace else. Paris? You think you can't get a cab in Paris? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, 100%. Been. It's harder to get cabs in other places. Like, London is, is all about. I mean, it's hard to get Ubers. London's all about cabs. Uh, hmm. Anyway. Ooh. I just thought it's an interesting thing. I think a lot of these chicks are about to start getting robbed. And I or think faking robberies. Or, or faking robberies. And I think a lot of the, the, the girls who follow them ain't going to have that much sympathy. Because no, there's yeah. a lot of like, like uh, hate slash love follow. Yeah. You know, it's like, I like seeing these things and learn how to get these things. But why the fuck you get it for free? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't got a job. You yeah. just prance around for a living wearing cute shit. Mm-hmm. And then people give you shit that I can't even buy. So it's like, I love your style, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that's how they came at like Kim Kardashian uh, in Paris because she got robbed like ten ten million dollars worth of stuff, like five million just for the ring that Kanye gave her. Yeah, and then they made like a kind of a family promise to kind of 
skip all the jewelry for a while. Like, there was a time where they weren't doing it. Yeah, they're back to work. Oh Diamonds. yeah, of course. I mean they want everything, it. but there was a period where they're like, nah. Um, okay. What else we got, guys? There's another uh, interesting story. Uh, obviously, uh, this is kind of making arounds. Bill Burr is out here. Love it. Uh, it's really great. Love it. And it was, this is the this is the effect of like saying something that everybody feels. Yes. Right. Uh, he says literally for a minute on his podcast. I think it starts around like the 15 minute mark and ends around like 16 and a half minutes. It's it's a minute long rant just about how shitty CNN is. Right. Of a channel. Right. And this one minute kind of explodes. He not only shits on CNN, he says MSNBC, Fox News, he says they're all the fucking same thing. They're un- un-American, they're treasonous. Their uh, ratings have tanked in this massive way. I think like CNN ratings are down 68% yes. or something yep. like that. I think Fox is down like 27 too. Probably. But like without Trump, there's this void in interest for the news. Yeah. Now nothing is newsworthy. We don't really give a fuck anymore. Yeah. So they need Trump, so they're starting to talk about Trump. And then his whole thing was... By talking about him and giving him all this free airtime, you're going to get him elected again. And you want it. Yeah. You want Darth yes. Vader because you yes. need it for your relevance. Yes. Like the news is this place that is not just telling us what has happened. The news is selling attention. Yes. And without us paying attention, they have nothing to sell ads on. Yeah. So they need the big fucking attention. The are selling ads, rod, like you you're said. selling ads. And the only way to get... More money for ads is have more people watching. Yes. How do you get more people watching? Let's drum up controversy. Let's drum up whatever. Let's let's uh, get people emotionally to watch us because then they don't look away. Who's better at that than Trump? Yeah, the and most I, reliable thing is fear. Yes. Fear, fear, fear. fear, fear. And they prey on fear. And nothing terrifies like your average like Democrat liberal than the idea of Trump getting elected again. And yeah. I'm sure we've had this conversation because I think we've all thought it. I know I've thought it. We're like... Dude, Trump was a joke when he first started running in 2016. Mm-hmm. They used to say he had to pay people to come to his fucking rallies, but then the news picked up on the fact that he was saying divisive things, and they gave him all the attention in the world. And the more attention he got, the more people he could reach to be like, yeah, I like what this guy is saying. Whether it's good or bad or whatever, I don't care. The point was people were like, oh, now this guy's accessible to me, and the more I see him, the more I like him. And that was a major reason he got elected. Mm. I don't care what anybody says. Major, And I think we've all probably said this independently. But the power of Burr saying it is different because he's at that level now. Also, there's certain people, like, if you give them more attention, right, they're going to expose themselves. Right. Right? Like, we know motherfuckers, like, the longer you shine a light on them, the more you realize, oh, they're actually kind of boring or they're uninteresting Mm. or they're not that funny. Like, they're funny within their tiny little enclave. Yeah. Right? Like, uh, I'm trying to think of certain people uh, that, that play, like, an iconic character, and then once they leave that character... You're like, oh, you're kind of a nerd. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, great yeah. at that as that character. The Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. That, like, he's, like, the manliest guy. He's like, I eat steak all day. I want meat, blah, blah, uh, blah. Yeah. And then, like, he, like, was tweeting some shit, like, standing up for, like, gay rights or whatever. And, and people was like, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, yeah. bro, I was, like, a theater kid. Like, I, like, yeah. went through, like, all these traditional theater programs. Like, I'm playing a character. Like, This happens not me. a lot with actors. Right. It happens a lot with actors, especially, like, well, then they start ha- hiring the, the actual mobsters for, like, the mob roles. But before that, it was a bunch of, like, gay theater dudes who would, like, mob it up. Right. And Italian it up to play all these roles. This is prior to like Sopranos and shit where they started hiring the real guys. Yeah. But like, I've been on set with a guy who's like supposed to be a tough New York yeah. Italian dude. And then they do cut and he's like, yeah, do you think I was really into it? I think I was really <laughs> into it. Like, oh, buddy. Yeah. But yeah, you shine a lot on some people and they, they change or they crumble. They but. Sh- but Trump is an example of a guy who has been entertaining for his entire adult life. Yeah. He literally had a TV show mm-hmm. where. He just had to entertain people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you shine the light on him, yep. he will be entertaining. Yep. Okay? They knew that, bro. They, they knew that. fucking knew yeah. it. They were fine they with it. They it. And this is to what Burr was saying. They want him to get reelected at the expense of the entire nation because they know he will entertain. Mm-hmm. And us talking about him is the only way we can stay relevant. So let's go. Yeah. And he I don't think they that- know it the first time around, though. I think they were okay with it. Uh, I think you had to see what was happening and be fine. Everybody was kind of in disbelief when if, Hillary lost. But they were looking at the data like... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, like, they were, don't, the, every yeah, time yeah. we do a story on him, it's going up. Let's do another story. It's going up. And you notice like, along the way, he's getting more powerful. He wasn't supposed to win the primaries. Fucking crushed the primaries. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't even close. So at a certain point, you can make a moral decision if you actually dislike this guy, which they claim to. I'm just calling out their inconsistency, which is, oh, he's actually getting more powerful the more coverage we give him. We could tamp this down a bit, mm-hmm. and we could not make as much money. But they can't, though, like they're because their obligation is to get money for their shareholders. Yes. like That's why you can't trust that well, news. Well, I think that's and what money makes for it advertising. so frustrating because 
they present as if they have this moral obligation to tell the truth. Yes. But what seems to be true when you look at the reporting is that they have a financial obligation to their shareholders. Mm -hmm. And when we see that inconsistency as a viewer, we're like, dude, just don't lie. Just say that you're a capitalistic business that just tries to profit by any means necessary. If you said that, run with it. We don't give a fuck. Yeah. That's why I'm almost like less annoyed by like this extreme left wing and the extreme right wing like uh, news. Like I don't care how extreme you are left, like Huffington Post, whatever. Like I know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Yeah. The game is like, what? what is it? One America News or some shit like that? Like, yeah. I know what you're doing. I know what you're here for. Yeah. It's just to say whatever Trump does is the most perfect thing in the world. Yeah. Right? So I can look at that with like some bit of honesty. They would act like they're just telling the truth. But like, I'm not as annoyed by it. But like, it's, when you go, I'm telling you the truth and that's all we care we're about. We're not biased. Or we're, we're real objective. news. I think Fox News, is that's, the, that's their thing. But the real the news. The real news. I'm like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. It, it, but they can't. They can't expose themselves because then that because they're supposed to be news. Yeah. yeah. I hate that sentence financial obligation to our shareholders because it's like your way of saying you're a piece of shit and I just have to be a piece of shit. But like, just say that from Jump Street. Don't. But well, at the end of the day, we have a financial. It's just such like a catch all sentence. It's like, oh, OK, now we can't call you out for anything. You have a financial. Ob you're all pieces of shit. That's fine. But own it more. Yeah. If CNN was like, hey, man, this, this guy is good yeah. for ratings. What do you want from us? Would you turn down 70%? I mean, we talked about Trump when he was here because yeah. we knew people are going to listen. Yeah, but there are uh, large groups on both sides that, like, believe that they're telling the truth. So if they expose themselves, be like, ah, no, nah, we're just saying what we have to say to I'm not, appease no, everybody. I, I, like, I, oh, fuck, I'm I understand the this. reasoning because you got to cater to morons. Yeah. But me as a person who's not as quite as stupid as that, I'm like, oh, I can't fuck with this because I see through it. Yeah, but you know what to I mean? appease you, then they, they don't have lose to lose their me. base. They don't have to appease me, but I see what you are, and I will call it out, uh, okay. and that's it. And I know what it is at the end of the day. You don't have to appease me. you got to appease the morons. But anybody with half a brain knows how biased both sides are. Yeah. Yeah. Every network. Mm -hmm. Bro, you'd be surprised, bro. You'd be surprised. Like I got friends who literally just regurgitate CNN talking mm -hmm. points. It's shocking, like fr close friends. Yeah, I guess but it's, you, so, I, it's susceptible. Like I've been in that spot too, where like I'm trying to prove a point to someone, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'll take this article. I don't even care where it's from." Nah, and I'm that's like, true. And I'm touting some CNN thing that I don't even necessarily believe, but I'm like, it, "This supports my argument." Because, but like, I don't even yeah. realize that I'm indoctrinated. That's like how how seductive the information. You is. might not be indoctrinated. It might just confirm the feelings that you already have. Yeah. Right. Because we're just looking for confirmation. Validation is seductive. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And it's much easier to feel validated when you have a quote unquote news network yeah. say the same shit that you feel. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, That's it true. must be true now. Yeah. yeah. Those guys on the TV with the ticker at the bottom said it. Yeah. There's something about the TV and a ticker that makes it feel real. Yeah. You know? And it's just preying on fear. That's the the saddest part to me. So yeah. like it's just like traumatizing people. Like there are people that like didn't come out of their house for all of the lockdown. Yeah. That, like didn't mm -hmm. weren't running, like weren't like getting the sunlight. Because they were so terrified by what the news was saying. Remember when we were watching local news and it was just reporting the news, but if it said breaking news, like that was a big story. But when you watch CNN or Fox News, it's 24-7. It's breaking, breaking. news. It's always when breaking. The fast ticker and the colors and they're just shooting at you. Like, oh my God, what today? And then you're like, it has to stay on all the time, like Bloomberg Finance or something. Yeah. You just have to keep absorbing it. And you're like, yeah, Jesus. yeah. This just in. This you know, just in. This just in. Monkey pox. <laughs> like yeah, it's yeah. just they are dying yeah. for another disease. Yeah. If if a disease pops up on our shores, yeah. they could not be happy. If yeah. if there was a CNN producer on the flight with the guy who had the monkey pox all over his hand, he would sit there, mouth shut, and let that motherfucker land in America and infect every single person, so that story tomorrow could yeah. absolutely murder the. That, that's what happened with the monkey monkey virus, which is apparently different than monkey box. Okay, that there was a person that died in China from monkey virus. Of course, it was like this big headline. Yeah, and I was like, oh fuck, another fucking pandemic or whatever. I look into it, and it's like you have to be in contact with a monkey that has the virus, and then like the death rate is whatever. And I was like, this is a non-story. Why is this uh, even being pushed? And the only reason is because there's this COVID, you know, panic. If you read and the monkey, pox, of monkey article, pox, and maybe because of that also, but like this yeah. story, like people die of one-off random viruses literally every day, all the yeah. time. We're not exactly. going to stop dying from COVID. We're not. It's yeah. the new flu. It's here every year. Get the vaccine updated if you want, whatever. But it, they're going to keep it going as long as they can. So this is a pandemic. This is yeah. crazy. As long as people are afraid and like terrified, and you can fear on that. And that's where I also. What Bill Burr said was really great is you are treasonous, you are un-American in the guise of a news network. So that's where you can 
justifiably call them out. Yeah. Like, sure, you can't expose yourselves, but we see what you are. It is un-American. It's this, treasonous. Yeah. It's the, a, yeah. the solution to me is, like, just following independent journalists. Like, yeah, well, where you find them motherfuckers? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like what you, gotta, you, mean? you gotta do work. Yeah, it's yeah. too much work. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if the, I don't know what the solution is for the masses. Like, the other solution is state-sponsored media, like BBC. Well, that that's the tricky thing. You can't have. I guess they do a decent job of it in England. Yeah. But we got to ask people in England. Yeah. But uh, all right, guys, we gotta take a break for a second because uh, y'all need to make some motherfucking money gambling, and there's only one place to do it, and that's mybookie.ag. And let me tell you why. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why right now because they are doubling your initial deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars. That's a free thousand dollars that you get to cash the fuck in and make some goddamn money when you make those bets. A lot of things that we could bet on these days, guys. There's a lot of things, okay? There are sports happening right now that you need to put that hard-earned money to use and start building up your kid's college fund. That's what you do. You gamble. <laughs> you use your gambling money to build up your kid's college fund, all right? I mean, look, they have the pre-game props, or you can bet games live to shift the odds in your favor and always come out on top. There's plenty of things that you can put that money. Just go to mybookie.ag and find all the opportunities. Just make sure to use the promo code flagrant. That's right. Flagrant, okay? Use that promo code flagrant. They are matching your initial deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's it's a free, free money. $1, How could you not spend it? Do your it. kids need it. They're going to want to go to college. So make that college fund happen <laughs> at mybookie.ag. Now let's get back to the show. But like, yeah, you don't want state sponsored journalism because it's state sponsored. Exactly. <laughs> well, Whatever you can Biden have both. says, it doesn't have to be one you or the other. You can have, have Vax that ass up playing every single <laughs> day, <laughs> the beginning of every program. Like the head of CNN, it comes from like the scripted film and TV world. And so he yeah. came in there saying, spin the narratives, you know, spin it. Yeah. You know how good they are at like making docs and things like that? Like they're a proper yeah. movie studio. I mean, yeah, yeah, Bourdain, yeah, yeah. like that's what you're good for, CNN. They made Blackfish, remember that doc? And and Bourdain's like parts unknown like they're storytellers they know how to do it yeah but so what is the answer is like putting it is it should there be a rule like with if you have a newspaper that they have to be journalists at the top like that are making decisions or I, the tricky thing is all it's also some personal accountability like we don't want the truth yeah we don't want the truth the majority of us want confirmation we don't want information we want confirmation right that's what we're constantly seeking and when we're in a place like I think we have to go to a place where we have so little faith in the news that is that, that we're digesting that all of a sudden there's enough of like a void or vacuum in the middle where like truth will be valuable again. And then that will exist maybe for like 10 years and then we'll start going, Ugh, I don't want all this truth. It's not fun. Yeah, make me feel good or make me feel scared. <laughs> but like make me feel something mm. because the, the reality is like the center shit is not that interesting. It's not. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's entertainment, especially a 24-hour news network. I have to keep you entertained all day, every day. You know how fucking exhausting that is? Yeah. Every That's why Sports Center, there's so much sports gossip on Sports Center. Do you want to read an article about how your home in Santa Barbara is going to get burned down by this fire? Or do you want to read an article about how, like, there's a 30% chance, but also a 60% chan chance that maybe, like, rain will start and then that will subside the fire? I'm more then... likely to read the, my home is going to burn down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your home is going to burn down. Oh, tell me why. Yeah. You don't want like a rational take on your home burning Even down? Even if want, it's like, what am I more likely to read? The one that panics me. The fucking home is going to burn yeah, down. Yeah, I think want is a weird word because I think you want to be calm. I think like human beings want to be at peace, but you can't look away. Can't. I agree with you. We, we might want it, but our system isn't designed for it. Our right, yeah, it's designed, designed to, to look, look at threat, at threat and threat. try to assess it. To yeah. keep ourselves safe, mm -hmm. right? Like we hear some noise in the other room and all of us go, what? Yeah, because we want to know because our brains are in the forest somewhere, right? Yeah. yeah, we're in like a little 150 person tribe. And if I hear some random noise I've never heard before, that's a lion. It's going to eat us all. So that's what the news is doing to us. It's constant new fear, new chicken pox, monkey pox, fire, COVID. We're shutting shit down again. And it's like uh, if you're going to give us that every single day, eventually there's some exhaustion attached to it. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's happening right now is people are just going, I'm not going to tune in. I'm not listening to Fox. I'm not watching CNN. I don't tune into shit. My favorite thing to do is Academics not watch the news. is the only thing I tune into. <laughs> <laughs> and I just talk to Alex about hip-hop shit. If you watch a ton it's of so news, fun. all I do like, is all I do is I go, yo, you heard what happened to Polo G and his girl? Man, that shit's crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> girl had a gay so best friend, started fucking him. That was wild. <laughs> and I act like I, ha I like have known all this, yeah. but I just read one headline and then throw it against Al yeah. to see if it sticks. Yeah. <laughs> I, li I like what you do, too. It's yeah, and like, Al don't know shit about hip-hop. Yeah. That's what I'm exposing. <laughs> so he don't know nothing, bro. I asked him to sing Lil Baby one song. He couldn't do one 
lyric. Wow, lyric. that's oh. fast, bro. That's what <laughs> I've been saying. That's what I'm telling you. I'm old, bro. It's like one bar he couldn't spit. Nothing, huh? Anyway, oh, so Bill Burr, it was cool to see him just go out there, say it, what everybody already feels, and a person that we trust. And uh, yeah, just like to be honest with it, it's like fuck him. Yeah, man, it was great to hear Bill Burr do it because again, he's at a status and like, um, yeah, I guess a stature where it's like his words carry weight. Yeah, and for him to say some shit like that that resonated was just great. Yeah, yeah, no, it's dope. We just want distraction. At yep. the end of the day, it's like. Kind of on this topic, do you want to talk about Biden saying that Facebook is killing people? Yeah, that was interesting. Hmm. So set that up, Mark. So basically, I don't know the full, full context, but I just know that Biden's secretary of the press came out and was saying all this stuff, like accusing Facebook and maybe trying to even sue Facebook. The little redhead joint? Yeah, her name's Christina Sackis, Sackis or something. I don't know. Um, I remember when she was at band camp doing some wild shit. <laughs> When she was at band camp, <laughs> yo, yo, son, yo, when she was reference. at band camp, bro, that's a good reference. Was getting wild with the flute, <laughs> yo, Shorty was getting wild with the flute. That's a great reference, camp. Doug. Yeah, Fuck. but Jen, no, tell tell me what the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt was talking about. <laughs> Jen Saki. Jen Saki, that's what yeah. it is. Basically, uh, they were saying that Facebook is allowing misinformation to disseminate through their platform, yeah. and it's killing people. Was the quote? Yeah. Facebook is killing people. Yeah. I don't know if they're responsible for killing people, but yeah, 100%. The people die as a result of misinformation. Mm -hmm. and uh, But then you could also say, like, is, is what is their net? Like, do they have net positive? Are, are more people living because of the things that they read on Facebook? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, are there... Are there, you know, uh, grandparents that are able to, like, have relationships with their kids and grandkids, and that's giving them more motivation to stay alive? Like, it might even be a direct, like, COVID thing. Like, there's certain people that might not have gotten the vaccine, then they saw a bunch of things like, oh, no, you can still die if you, if you don't get it. And they're like, all right, fine, I'll get it. Or even a place where they could get the shot. Right, yeah. They had no clue where they go get it. And they right. go, oh, wow. And they see their get friends it. getting it, and they're like, oh, maybe it's safe. Yeah, and I'll it's tricky because it. how, how do you decide what's misinformation and what's not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you're, apparently you're playing Big Brother for real. So. If you're an information platform, that information is going to lead to happiness. It's going to lead to depression. Like, I don't know if you're responsible for all the feelings and outcomes that happen because of your platform. Yeah. But if you want to talk about lives lost, like, yeah, sure, motherfuckers die because of Facebook. Like, how many people, how many, how many people's locations have been shared and then they just got murdered? As the result of Instagram or Facebook. That shit just happened. With whom? Uh, there was this, I think it was a crip out in L.A. And yeah, he, he, no, actually it was a blood out in Pop LA. Smoke. Yeah, he decimated like, um, fuck, who was a rapper that died? The big Oh, yeah. Um, the Marathon Continues. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey, you don't know yeah. shit about rap. Follow <laughs> academics, man. <laughs> That's Follow crazy, academics, dog. Follow yeah. Yeah. Desecrated his grave. And then he was on IG Live. And then Wild dude boy. shot him Wild on boy. IG Live, and he died on IG Live. Wild really? boy. Yeah. Ratings like, through the roof. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ratings through the roof. This guy's crazy. Facts, though, right? <laughs> this guy's crazy. I mean, that is true. <laughs> Gotta be his most watched live. Probably. You don't think you're gonna go watch that replay? It's kind of ironic they call it live, though. <laughs> 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 IG dead. <laughs> Yo. Yo, you think somebody had the foresight well, at the end when it's over, it says, do you want to record this and keep it live for <laughs> <laughs> <say> yes? <laughs> Add to the feed. <laughs> yeah. But that is crazy. Like, okay. a lot of people end up dying because of the platform. Is it the platform's responsibility or fault? I don't know. The tricky thing, I think, when it comes to, like, misinformation is, is that there are algorithms that um, react and promote certain things that are being digested. And that's the fear thing. Okay, so break it down. Well, that's exactly what we're talking about with the media, is that, like, our brains are in the forest. They're programmed to be looking at threats. Yep. And so when you're on social media and you see, like, oh, the vaccine's actually going to fucking give you cancer, you're like, yeah. oh, God damn it. I gotta watch it. Yeah, I gotta watch it. I'm gonna share it, because I don't want my friends to get sick. And so, like, you're now passing around all the misinformation. Why am I so threatened by girls with huge tits jumping? <laughs> Why is that? Why is that mm -hmm. so threatening to me? Like, Sounds what like an amazing time. What no, because that that pops up on your Instagram. That pops up on my thing yeah. so, b because of fear. Ah, yeah, yeah, I am yeah. terrified. Yeah, if there's a girl with huge tits jumping, yeah, I, I can't. You, you fear please, for her safety. I fear. For like, her what safety. about her back? Is it gonna hurt her? You're the biggest feminist I know. I, I think am. anybody knows you knows. Please, you are really concerned. Share it with your friends so that way you know we can also yeah. be aware. Exactly. Know? Exactly. Because that kind of information needs to be shared. You can tell yeah. other hot girls with huge shits, like, hey, guys, Holy be careful. Shit. Be mindful of how you move. 
Yeah. That is true because in this way, Instagram is actually saving people's lives. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yes. I mean, a lot of them, mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah. also killing people too, probably. Yeah. At least a billion of um, potential people. Maybe big chiropractic or whatever the fuck you call it is trying to tell these girls to do it. <laughs> <Big> chiropractic. <laughs> I mean, big, yeah. we, we, they're trying to tell these girls, hey, you should jump up and down. Chiropractic and billionaires. We gotta stop yeah. science. You know what I mean? Yeah, we gotta dude. say, hey, they're just trying to make money yeah. off the tree. Yeah. Or maybe it's playing on something in your brain. Maybe like, uh, maybe like the fear of starving. And you see like a voluptuous <laughs> woman, and, yes. and you think you could suckle on her on her teeth. Is it voluptuous or voluptuous? It's voluptuous. The M really threw me off. Because I kind of stupid, <laughs> dumb idiot. Learn, Learn how words. to fucking speak. It's voluptuous. Learn, I gotta spell it for you, motherfucker. Yo, honestly, all the creatine you're taking making you dumber. Yeah. Turn into some <laughs> rat. That's what it is. That's voluptuous. There's some real voluptuous. You mix scrumptious and voluptuous together. It's a new word. Into a way better word, yeah, by the way. It's exactly. That word is yeah. 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 Like, I appreciate that. Them heavies. You're like, yeah, yeah that's voluptuous. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's voluptuous. That's right. Facts. Yeah. Okay. So, takeaway. Mm. Is Facebook killing people? Possibly. Probably. Yeah, probably, yeah. Or are people dying as a result of Facebook? Yeah, yes. That's a better way to put but it. But are people living as a result of Facebook and Israel? Yes. Are they net positive, net negative? I don't know. Probably net negative in terms of how they make us feel, but they might be net positive in life. How in, how in life? Like, we all feel a little bit worse, but we are more connected. Yeah. So maybe those connections lead to, like, I don't know. Less suicides or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean, like some dumb shit. Like, 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 if uh, you didn't lose confidence in it, I, I would have stayed with it. Just because I but know for you a fact, hit it with. suicide's been up. Bro. Suicide's been, yeah, been, been booming, been bro. Business is up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Suicide, bull market. Yeah, hell time. yeah, bull market. Uh, it's Real on his Bitcoin rush. Yeah, Hundred percent to the heavens. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. So what is it? So so do you hold him accountable? Is Biden just being a cock when he does this shit? I don't it's know. a little cuckish, but it's also not fully wrong, like you said. And then as we were trying to name net positive things, we couldn't really think of any. I mean, connectivity. My career. Is huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your career. All of our careers. For huge sure. net positive. Yeah. Sure. We're gonna bring life into this world because of social media. Yeah, yeah. YouTube's not Facebook. Facebook helps too. It helps. It all helps. But Facebook connect, helps, connectivity bro. is a net Fucking positive. Fucking sorry, devil. boomers, you old ass boomers. <laughs> sorry. You know what I mean? Watching my clips on Facebook. Sorry, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I used to sit on your knees and watching some Facebook clips. <laughs> you old fucks. <laughs> Yo, dude, what? What, Al? We over a million on Facebook. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, shit. Son, we over a million on Facebook. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Hey, what? No, this is just a fascinating thing that they say that apparently 12 people are behind most COVID vaccine hoaxes on social media. What's the hoax? That's what I understand. Like, so it's just like putting out misinformation. So like, what what misinformation exists on vaccines? Give me one. <laughs> Give me one bit of misinformation, Doug. I don't even think misinformation exists on vaccines. <laughs> Dead ass. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me one. Let's cook. Does the vaccine make it rain? <laughs> Does vaccine make it rain outside? No, oh what? Give me one bit of misinformation. Go, go, go. This is going to be fun. This whole episode is getting taken down. But uh, I think, I mean, one thing people said that like there could be a sterilization as a result of, of vaccine use. Oh, so that you can't get girls pregnant? Yeah. On the girl side or on the dude side? I don't know. I don't know, bro. It's a fucking Facebook meme. Hey, do we know that it can't be? What? We that's don't gonna, know. It's gonna be your reply to all this shit. I'm just saying we don't know yet. This shit just came out, right? Like you don't know until it goes for a little bit, yeah, right? Should, like yeah. people got to use the lotion before they find out it gives them cancer. And at the Johnson and Johnson shit, yeah, that's just fucked up because I was they, using that shit too. Of course, yeah, yeah. That's why you were sweating so much. I still got that shit in my book bag right now. See, and you should still use it. The Get only that got recall? settlement. I think so. Yeah, that's. <laughs> it's sunblock with, with the, the benzene in yeah, it. Yeah. It's sunblock. It has this thing benzene in it, and I guess it causes cancer or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but yeah. it's bad. Yo, should people not wear sunscreen every day? Son, there's like a movement that's happening where people are like, yeah, wear misinformation. Wear, wear sunscreen don't, every don't day. That's that misinformation. Son. That's Son. misinformation. Bro, go <laughs> in the sun. Do Dove wear sunscreen every day. It's mad movements out there, bro. Let me tell you about this Johnson and Johnson. Okay, Johnson and Johnson having a hell of a. Bro, I don't trust year, them for shit. Talk Johnson and Johnson. How you got baby powder kills people? Down bad. Bro. That's fine. That's foul. Baby powder. 
causing cancer for babies? Whoa. Son, y'all are the OG Epstein's out this bitch. Yeah. Ruining Man. children's lives. Babies in the powder. That's oh, son. my God. Al really had it. So Johnson Johnson recalled five of their sunscreen products in the U.S. after low levels of benzene, a carcinogen the found lady. in its products. Mm -hmm. Valashore Independent Laboratory raised alarm over benzene's presence. Report released May 27. 27% of samples contained benzene, mm. up to three times the conditionally restricted FDA concentration limit. Products were in uh, in. That's kind of crazy that nine percent are allowed to have benzene. Hold on, hold on. Al might be safe. Products were in all aerosol cans. Ooh. Oh, oh, we up. Okay. Including we up. four right. Neutrogena sprays, I'm a Beach lit, Defense, baby. Cool Dry Sport, Invisible Daily Defense, and Ultra Sheer. Avino's Protect and Refresh. Do you have that? Uh -oh. What is benzene, bro? It's a highly flammable and widely yeah. used chemical. Uh, you're, you're... It's either. Oh, with the catch. Fire. Nope, you're good. All right. Oh, nice. Um, good. damn, I was trying to get in that class action. Though, oh, you're right. Again. <laughs> it's found in plastics, <laughs> rubber, <laughs> dyes, <laughs> pesticides, and synthetic fibers, and can cause cells to stop working and result in loss of white blood blood cells. Sounds like a vaccine to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Johnson Johnson, a real piece of shit. Company, They're the worst, bro. dog. This is crazy. So right now they're exploring a plan to offload the liabilities from the baby powder litigation. Yeah. So they got to pay up like $2 billion or whatever like yeah, that. Yeah. So they're considering this like rule that allows them to like separate the company and then file for bankruptcy in the separated part of the company so oh, they don't have to pay off the people up. whose kids they killed. Son, that's so foul. Dude. Absolute oh. fucking scumbag. Fuck Johnson & Johnson. Bro, yeah. that's every pharmaceutical company. That's legit every pharmaceutical. Yeah, 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 go yeah. on that. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All Hold pain, on, now. they're all in like constant lawsuits, paying out billions of yeah, dollars. Yeah, but we shitting on Johnson and Johnson right now. So, like, um, what's what's doing, yo? Dirty gang. We trying to have fun, hey, hey, yo. My dirty gang. Hey, 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 HDCU? <laughs> Son, what the fuck, yo? Yeah, pronounce the words right, you fucking idiot. Said, the, the bank? <laughs> HBCU. Did so you just say HBCU? <laughs> it, that's what it is, historically he black said college HDCU. university. What? Oh, I said it right. Fuck you, nigga. Say HD. <laughs> no, I said HBCU. He said HGTV, How you lose bro. confidence in your own shit, So what's dog? the bank? Hong Kong HSBC. FDIC, HSB you dumb oh, motherfucker. No, 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 there's HSBC, a bank. you dumb yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, nah, nah. I thought I said that. Nah. <laughs> BC, Hong Kong, Shanghai, banking. Yeah, you motherfucker. Somebody, somebody <laughs> banking in Shang, Shanghai. It is. Get out of here. Bank. Yeah, but who using that bank? The monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yo, where do you get the monkey virus at? Get the good interest bank, rates bro. at Shanghai Bank. Get the fuck out of Yo, here. Oh, you gonna get some real good rates? Yeah, Shanghai. That's what you're gonna get. Might yeah. have to, bro. Shanghai, Yo, bro. fuck that monkey pox, bro. Yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Shouts to Has Hasbulla, bro. Get rid of that monkey, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does have a monkey. He does have a little monkey. Yeah, Hasbulla. Yeah, I he's love that. Like midget fighter from Dagestan. It's oh. not even a fighter. He's a YouTube personality. I'm sorry for. Uh, bro, he's a fighter. <laughs> yeah, I'm like what? I'm sorry for destroying the momentum of the podcast, fighter, guys. Bro. I apologize <laughs> for that. I thought a Hasbro reference was gonna really murder the room. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, uh, not that relatable. Uh, so Johnson Johnson just pieces of shit. You were saying, Mark, they're all pieces of shit. Yeah, they're all pieces of shit. Okay. Why? Now go. They, they're just massive corporations playing people's lives, making money. Trying to get their shareholders paid. Now, I don't trust any pharma, yo. Fucking now, Facebooker. Now, <laughs> now, sorry, <laughs> Boomer. Sorry, <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> now, can we also look at them like we were looking at Facebook? Do they have net positive? Mm. Are they saving one more life than they're killing? Mm -hmm. Here's yep. what's foul about it, though. Is when you, if you are a pharmaceutical company, morally, you would think, if you fuck some people up, you'd be like, all right, let me just pay them. We fucked up. This right. hurt them. Keep going. <laughs> that's, all, that's my whole point. They don't do it. They'll find yeah. a way out of. They're fighting tooth and nail with fucking opioid like addicts, being like, "Oh no, we didn't get you addicted." But why did they get them addicted? Because they told the doctors they're like, "Yeah, prescribe them all." Oh that shit. yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's not their fault. They live in a shitty Connecticut town. <laughs> 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 what you know what I mean? Like, oh, what did I just put on me? Benzene, Benzene dog. Yeah. Son. Yeah. Oh my you got god. Got the benzos, dude. bro. I got the benzos, dog. Yeah. Beat my dick with the benzene, uh, bro. Yeah. Bitches in the Waldorf. Mm. Bubbly in the bathtub. Bubbly in the bathtub. <laughs> benzene in the sunblock. <laughs> 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 Someone on Reddit made a fire. Uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Of the bitches uh, in the Waldorf. Really? Yo, y'all stepping it up, Reddit. About uh, fucking time, yo.
That's what I'm talking about. All right? Stay off the benzene. We might need y'all. Okay? I know you're not getting any sunlight, you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> no, bullying nah. works. They be killing no, it with the now bullying. Now Reddit I'm, comfort this motherfucker nah, they, right now. They so. work. You got to bully. They fucking work once you bully them, bro. You know what I mean? You got to bully them. They was cracking out some high quality content when yeah, we was bullying them. Don't call them nerds. Say what? Don't call them nerds. What do you want me to call them? We be on it. Yeah. We're nerds, Al. <laughs> All right. Sorry. All right, Z, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Z, Jen? Is Z that also Jen? in the sunscreen? <laughs> Sorry, Z, Jen. <laughs> Yo, it's we got the waifu. Him, dog. Yo, All give right. me that waifu, dog. Oh, shit. Yo, this girl is stacked from the front <laughs> to the back. <laughs> you watching some hentai or what? Bro, I'm about to. What's this girl's name? Holy shit, boomer. <laughs> Dude, for real talk. This girl is crazy, bro. Yeah. Holy yeah. But moly. you just found out about hentai, right? What do you huh? think? You just found out about hentai? What do you think? They should have more of a slit in between her. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Why? <Wife. laughs> <laughs> This no, Y'all are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That shit they can't give right this now. shit to kids. Okay. Um, what else we got going on, boys? All right. So India is imposing a, cho- a two-child policy in certain states, specifically Uttar Pradesh. Whoa. Right after Akash got married. Do you think that's strategic? Mm. Whoa. Oh, shit. Be honest. Do you think that they're trying to get you? Uttar Pradesh is where Akash's family is from. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, they want two kids max. Yeah. What you think about that? I think it's great. Though. How many siblings do you have? One. I got one sibling. Oh, I'm so a two-kid family. It's uh, great, yo. Oh, yeah. So Just the way to, Hey, India got too many people, man. We got too many. The, keep it at two. Then viruses will kill mad others, and we'll be fine. Mm. Wow. Mm. And they're offering money for forced sterilization. Or not forced, I guess, because they're giving them money. But for uh, paying for volunteer, voluntary sterilizations. That's great, dog. Yeah. This is brilliant. <laughs> I love this so much. I'm so happy about this. I mean, you guys can flip it on me, I'm sure, but I'm enjoying it right now. No, I think Why are you happy is... about it? I'm curious. Because it's too many people. It's 1.4 billion people in a country that's like a fifth the size of America. So five times the population, one fifth the land. It's fucking crazy. You, know you guys crazy? haven't been. It's too many people. The easiest way to control population is to just give women rights. And none of these countries are willing to do it. <laughs> right? Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. the easiest way, you just give women rights, you get them to have careers, you get them to work, and all of a sudden they like doing that shit, they don't have any kids. Norway, Sweden, America, all declining populations because women can do whatever the fuck they want. But you go to, like, China and India, and you just offer up the idea, hey, you want to, like, let them, like, focus on themselves? And, like, make the, Ugh. Eh? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing a, a lot right now. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're doing a... back in the kitchen. I'd rather everyone starve in this country. Right now. You're all, you're all <laughs> doing a lot right now. Starve. Everybody <laughs> calm down. Oh, we got man. a good thing going. Saying, son, China, Government incentives. China, I'm just saying. China had to do a one-kid policy instead of just letting Chinese women work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that shit. Hey, hey. You got to do what you got to do. And they literally I mean? were just looking at people like, listen, we don't make them wrap their feet anymore. What the fuck else do you want from us? Right? <laughs> half measures. You know what I mean? <laughs> <It's a nice laughs> little by little. Measure. But it is the number one way to stop population. No, if you want to eradicate point. human beings from this planet, you know, all these people are like, oh, my God, uh, we need to recycle so we can bring the earth back to its homeostasis or whatever. No, just let women work. Yeah, but who's we more wasteful have, say what? than an empowered woman? A hundred percent. They're going to waste. They're going to have all their products and all that other kind of shit. Uh, yeah. But then within two generations, there'll be no humans left. Uh, so that's all you need to do. More you have women working, careers, yeah. no more human beings. The dolphins will come back to the canals in Venice or whatever it's you f- want to happen <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, it's funny how insufferable children get when you let women hang out with their peers. Then all of a sudden they're like, yo, kids are annoying. When you keep them at home, you don't let them talk to anybody else. They're like, yeah, let's have kids. I love kids. When they get to work and hang out with peers, they're like, yo, kids, huh? Who's into that? Who wants that? Every fucking country where they let them work and hang out with friends, they look at kids like, this is annoying. <laughs> well, fucking needy the men ass have to kids. take care of the kids now. They're not say. even, they're just ha- they're realizing how kid annoying kids are because they'll get to hang out with peers at work. They're like, oh, these guys are cool. These kids suck. Oh, oh, women are realizing yeah. that. Oh my God, I wasn't understanding what you were saying. Yeah, women, once they get to hang out and like yeah. have something they're passionate about outside yeah. of their child. Yeah, and have coworkers that are their age that yeah. they can relate to. Now, I, I just want to say, this is the end of humanity. I don't yes. support this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I, I, I want humanity to continue going. And in order for us to do that, we have to pretend like we want women to have careers, but really keep them in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't believe at all. <laughs> I don't believe at all. 
I don't believe that. You don't believe that. Yeah. You know, my girl's getting a master's degree. Your girl's yeah, going absolutely. back to get her master's. Mm-hmm. We want women to go out there and do everything that they can do. Yes. So that they can realize that their place is at home. Yeah. Yo, explore it all. Come back home. It's like when uh, back home. It's like when the Amish people let their kids go on rum yeah, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what? Rum Yeah, rum springer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, same, I knew same. it was something like that. Yeah. You know, goofy ass Amish. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna hear this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but go on. But same thing. You let them explore, and then they just come back. That's so fucking true, dude. Gotta we let have to let out. women rumspringer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with that? No, let them explore. What let does a female rumspringer look like? They just go. They go work. They go to school. They do whatever they want. They 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 toil away at these corporate jobs, yeah. and they realize how miserable it is, and then, then they could have children and, you know, do that and yeah. toil away at that. Be appreciated for once, you know? Yeah. Have a job where you're appreciated. That is actually true. Like, if you're a woman, you're raising the kids, you run the crib, bro. Bro, you are. Mother's Day is the great, like, the most important day of the year. 100%. Everything. Mom is. Bill Burr had the joke about that. Mom mom is the hardest job in the world. Nobody says that about fucking whatever other job you got. That's a good ass point. Mm. Also, I do think it's beneath Quality women control. To work <laughs> after they have children. Beneath them. I think it's beneath a woman. After you push out a kid, to go back to a job is beneath you. Mm. You shouldn't have to. Yeah, I mean, if I mean, some people need to to work. You, yeah, it's okay. But like, after you've made a human being, you can't go like to like copying shit for your boss. Like, yeah, like yeah, getting yeah, coffees yeah. and stuff like that. Like, you made a human being. Like, what you accomplish is far greater than what your boss is telling you to do. Yeah. It's it's stupid. Now, some people have to do it because they have to pay the bills. If you don't have to, come on, what is this? I gotta work a job <laughs> at Human Resources. I am Human Resources. Exa- I just yeah. my resources create humans. <laughs> I Fuck you. That's what I do. Yeah, that's some boss ass shit. Like, <laughs> lady, what you want to fucking work? Chipotle? <laughs> I want to work at Chipotle? Like somebody asking you, can I have extra steak on my bowl? You're like, I just made a human being two weeks ago. Yeah. Why am I listening to this fat fuck tell me what he wants on his fucking burrito bowl? <laughs> it's disgusting. Good point. Women shouldn't have to work. A good point. How, I mean how much maternity leave do you think? For women? Yeah. Rest of your life. Yeah, eternity. E- eternity leave? No, 18 years. Oh. Uh, mm. 18 Ooh. years. And then you can go back and work in some form of charity. <laughs> 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 like live in like a convent yeah yeah yeah, yeah. convent or something like that around a mcdonald <laughs> <laughs> you can work at ron and mcdonald <laughs> what, a, what a goofy charity right like they probably do a lot of good work but like if you got your life saved by fucking ronald mcdonald, ronald a, McDonald. Clown? Yeah. a clown pulls up <laughs> be so you have 30 more days on this planet and a clown pulls <laughs> yeah, up yeah i'm gonna save yeah. you come on yeah. um no, but there is something to that. I don't know. Are we being wildly sexist? Lady assholes, tell us. I feel like we're being very progressive. Yeah. We're the most progressive 18 podcast. 18 years of maternity leave. That's pretty good. No, 18 years maternity leave. I think if women have children, they should, in an ideal world, I think most guys feel this way. If we're being serious, no jokey. I think most guys probably feel this way. If you had the resources to allow your wife to choose whether she wanted to work or raise the kids or do both, you would do that. Yeah. Right? So you'd say, babe, if you want to take care of the family and do that, I will hold this shit down. I think most guys would say that. Would you agree? Yeah. If they're... If they want to. Yeah. Only if, if they're so passionate about their career and they really want to do that, then that's Go awesome too. I mean, like, yeah. there are tons of women that are fucking gold medalists and shit, right? Like, there are women that are doing these things that they really care about. They have a graphic design business that they fucking started from the ground up. What I'm talking about is, like, the fact that, like, some women feel like they should work in order to feel like justified as a human being mm. yeah you made a you made a human being yeah that's justification enough it's crazy that there are some feminists that make being a housewife seem so beneath yeah when it's like the most empowered thing you could possibly do but wouldn't it's you do the that most beautiful if, thing about a yeah. woman is you can create other humans yeah. so if you can create and love other humans and do that you're not beneath anybody whether you choose to do it or not that's fine yeah. but it's not you're not less of a woman if you take care of your family but it's always some fat troll with a mustache that's saying that right <laughs> yeah it's never like a girl yes. who has the option to have a family correct <laughs> it's always a girl who would never have that option and then she's like oh yeah look at those girls yeah. why are they doing that yes yeah. because humanity decided you're not worth procreating with that's why they get to do that. <laughs> when we like hate on instagram models yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. like oh yeah look at her feet are all fucked up it's yeah. like you don't even care if she had no feet <laughs> <laughs> down on fucking toothpicks <laughs> it wouldn't matter right put your nub in my mouth immediately <laughs> Why are we waiting? I'll put honey on it. I don't care. <laughs> it's a party. Yo, if you had the option to be a 
a house husband, would Fuck you? Fuck no. 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 Why no not? Chance. Not built for it. This thing, I think women have, women have the choice to choose. They should be allowed to choose what they want to do, but not in my house. Men's choice is you can... <laughs> yeah. Men's in my house, is, it's very traditional. My women yes. should be able to choose. Yes. yes. Woman? <laughs> <laughs> we have a fairly traditional relationship, all right? Yeah. Men have a choice, too. You can get a job or be a stay-at-home... <laughs> That's what you can do. <laughs> And they should be allowed to choose that. These are your choices. Yeah. Yes, but no, we can't do that stay at home shit. Fuck out of here with all that. That's um, crazy. Bro. If some man that's wants to, that's fine. Nah, that's she's embarrassing. Some man wants to. Nah, 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 nah. That shit is embarrassing, there's dog. Some, Get a job. There's a stay at home dad listening to this right now, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, you are a cock. <laughs> <laughs> you are a cock. Get out there, go to work. Okay? Jesus. What if he's a patron? Say what? What if he's a patron? With his wife's paycheck? <laughs> Yeah. Fucking cuck! Get you know, out patron, of here, your bro. wife is a thank your yeah. thank your wife patron for saint. your patronage. Your wife, okay? <laughs> flagrant two. All right, patron. You know, com com flagrant two. Yeah, you know I'm saying, let's go. Run it up. Run it up. Put a little graphic <laughs> down there, Miles. Real talk. Yeah, don't, we don't even put your name as a captain no more. Your wife can ask yeah. a question. Yeah, your Cap wife. Captain Net. Captain Net. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then you putting somebody else's credit card name on the fucking get out of here, bro. Come on, son. That being said, whenever I call people, my mom's name come up. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, you entering somebody else's name for credit card info? Get the fuck out of oh, here, yeah, that's bro. Crazy, bro. That's, that's crazy, embarrassing. Crazy. You got to work, man. You got to work. I'm sorry. You got to work. I don't even care if your wife is like a soldier or whatever. She at war in Afghanistan. Like, get a babysitter. <laughs> Yo, have your parents come home. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because sometimes it rains on your birthday. Sometimes the line for coffee wraps around the building. Sometimes gas goes up 10 cents. Sometimes life stinks. The good news, you don't have to because Native has your back. That's right. Native cares about the products you put on your body. They're about stopping the stink the right way. That's the Native difference. You probably already know about Native's legendary aluminum-free deodorant, but have you tried their body wash, toothpaste, or their brand-new mineral-based sunscreen? Yes, Native now has a broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen for your face and body. It's lightweight, absorbs quickly, and you can choose between unscented or coconut and pineapple. Native's on a mission to overhaul your entire hygiene routine by putting the care in self-care with products carefully made to work against the odor that are made with simple ingredients and smell amazing. You can get their deodorant and body wash in amazing scents like coconut and vanilla, citrus and herbal musk, lavender and rose, and more. You can even build your own personalized product bundles. Okay? Mix and match three of your favorite scents and keep them on rotation so you can have something for every occasion. Stay fresh. Stay clean with Native by going to nativedeo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout and get 20% off your first Ooh. order. That's nativedeo.com slash flagrant or use the promo code flagrant at checkout for 20% off your first order. Now let's get back to this. Yeah, Figure it out. Uh, that's crazy. You're acting a little crazy. You got me a little... I'm, I feel triggered right now, even just thinking about that. <laughs> I mean, triggered. you also grew up in a house where your mom ran a business. Dad worked too. Dad, dad work. Dad can oh, work shit, too. Yo, T O O. Yo, wait, wait. Did you just call his dad a cuck? Whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I'm talking about Bear like yeah, that. Was fighting words, yo. So, so he just. He yo, should you just go that. I just fuck, fuck him up right now? <laughs> Be honest. He might just have to go fuck him up. Dad also oh, an accomplished shit. reporter. Interviewed Ali. Did a lot of great uh, things for NBC. backtracking right now. Like, my dad ran a business during the day. My mom ran it during the night. All right? Okay. They didn't even see each other for but more than one hour a day. Okay? And that's how you have a successful marriage. <laughs> yeah. And the second that my mom retired, my dad's memory just went away. So this is perfect timing. Okay? It's absolute perfect timing. This is how you stay married for the rest of your life. Yeah. All right? Just don't spend no time together and then have your memory cut out the second you have to. Just take shifts. Real talk. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. No, my dad was working. Okay. Yeah, he was working for my mom, but it was a family. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yo, Damn, bro, I don't even make me say I that met shit. you at the ballet I studio too. Triggered, yo. Andrew used to work for his mom too back in the day. I used to work for my well, mom. Well, you can work for your mom if you're a kid. Yeah. That's yeah, fine. you used to work for your mom. Yeah. In the beauty salon. But he's forty nine percent. No, in a women's yeah, like clothing a tanning store. salon, bro. <laughs> women's clothing. We in a tanning salon. Wow, women's clothing. Dude, that is that was super lit. fucking 
gay. <laughs> dog, working at a tanning salon, dude? Are you kidding me, dog? You're, I'm more tanned you have to be. Kind of Andrew's so angry right studio. now. Andrew's You're so literally <laughs> wearing a ballet <laughs> right, right now, dog. Dude, dude, right now, tanning honestly, salon. And we grew a ballet studio. I can't. <laughs> ballet. Ain't no ballet, son. Ain't no ballet. Like, it's partner dancing. You were like, like, ballroom dancing. Like, ballet, hey, like, son. Hey, like, no, no, no. Like, dun, 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 dun. I fuck all y'all up. All right, my parents had a pussy pound and partner dance studio. They had all right, mad people meeting women, marrying them in there. You know what I'm saying? Dancing it up, salsa, dick rock. Uh huh. You know what I mean? I used to take classes there, dick rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, put on salsa, dick yeah. rock. Fuck that ballet belt. I didn't fuck need that ballet. shit. Ain't no ballet over here, yo. <laughs> it was true. a couple of studios were rented out for ballet <laughs> classes, but I had no affiliation with what we did. It was yeah. pussy powder, part of dancing. Were you yo. getting some action or what? Action, tango, yeah. all that. Dick rock. <laughs> I used to dance with them. You know what I'm saying? I was dick rock dancing with these girls, bro. I would go to the class, salsa. Jamil and I would pull up to that shit. Yeah. Dancing. They would cross body lead. Salsa. Oh, that's fine. Cha cha. Oh, it didn't shit. matter. I remember they filmed the other guys, that movie with Mark Wahlberg at his dance studio. And I know it's ballet because I remember him doing ballet in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> they had the poles along the wall. No, they had the pole along the wall. They had the poles along the wall. He's got receipts, bro. <laughs> no, I, I remember because I see pictures of his mom in the back. I'm like, oh, that's Andrew's studio. Oh, I know those pictures. Yo, and then people, Mark Wahlberg starts do busting out the ballet. Oh. See how people do you, yo? See how people do you, Reddit? You fucking dorks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just got to find someone else. To, you know? <laughs> I just got to get it off me. Reddit, you're going to have to take this one now. Yeah. I'm taking too much punishment. <laughs> I got a hot potato this shit, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Reddit? You oh. see, Jens? <laughs> <laughs> take that. Nah, nah. It was capable to do ballet there. You could yeah. do it, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> he taught. We weren't teaching on ballet. Yeah. We were Pump. teaching partner dancing, bro. Mm -hmm. Get married, bro. You say partner? So was the were you saying partner because... To learn the are you saying partner? Because a lot of times it was Hold boyfriend, on, boyfriend. Get this. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a good joke. I just nah, that was good. He stepped yeah. on it. I knew where he was going. Thanks. Thanks. You, you kind of fucked it up. That's all, folks. Thanks, Doug. Hey, thanks, Doug. But I mean, you did kind of fuck it up a little. Doug, a little. that's Doug, bro. Uh, no, hit it back. Run it back. Run it back. Come you're, you're not, don't, don't make him do that. <laughs> yeah, come on. Don't make him do that. <laughs> That's how they be treating Christians too. They be like, no, 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 run it back. Jesus, come back. <laughs> 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 All right, no, but for real though, y'all talking shit about my father. God, stop it. <laughs> oh, that come was... here and fuck all y'all up with three different conversation yeah. points. <laughs> <laughs> Bangers though. <laughs> Bangers though. Hey. Mother, dude, he was not playing. My boy, my boy, my boy, <laughs> my boy. My dad met my my. Uh, I'm going to, to Fire Island this summer. I'm going to Fire Island respect, this summer. Respect, respect. But um. It's Gay Island, actually. Now that I say yes. it, that, that I is true. It. it is true. So my my boy, my father met my uh, future mother in law this weekend. Oh shit! Right and kicking mad game <laughs> with a capital G, mm -hmm. yeah, right in front of my mom. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> like that. Right, because my girl was there and her mom, yeah. and then my mom and my dad. And my dad was like doing a classic old school dad lines, like. Are you guys sisters? Yeah. Hit them with the are you sisters, yeah, bro? Yeah, like, yeah. are you guys sisters? And then you know, how old are you? She said, like 58 or something like that. And he goes, Wow, the women of your generation just don't age. Mm. My mom's standing right next to him. <laughs> 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 Completely different than my generation. <laughs> but your generation just stays the same, unlike mine. Wilts away. <laughs> This wilts away. What's the difference? <laughs> Unbelievable, this savage, right? Oh, my God. Swag. So, wait, what happened? Did he close or they what? They did some fucking ballet. I don't know. <laughs> what else you want from me, guys? What else you want? What type of conclusion would you like? Oh, this makes sense. What? Because your girl used to do ballet, so now y'all can dance together, son. Oh, oh shit. That's Nutcracker at the wedding. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I'm getting killed, Reddit. Reddit, I'm getting killed. Reddit, I'm getting killed. Now is your opportunity, Reddit. Okay? I've been talking all this shit, saying what nerds y'all are. They got me in a spin cycle with this fucking Nutcracker. Now is the time to make the content that I know that you can make. Yeah. when You, you are the Nutcracker, bro. <laughs> you, you got no nuts, dog. Uh, I'll be sitting on my nuts. Oh, the way I position myself sitting down is kind of Nutcracker. Nutcracker. 
yeah. Doug Gregor. Holy shit there. <laughs> Holy shit there. <laughs> bro, is that a, a symptom of monkeypox, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, does accent change as well when you get it, dude? Dude, what if the first symptom of COVID was you had a Wuhan accent? Like, dude, that was, an accent specifically. Dude, Wuhan, a Wuhan specific. specifically, hey. not Asian or anything like that, but That's just racist, yeah. immediately you're just like, you're just like, ah, oh, chew. Close your. <laughs> That's a Wuhan accent. It's Wuhan, dog. It's specifically yeah. from the Wuhan region of China, dog. Where the, virus, where the virus fucking started. Yeah. Where it was created, man. Where it was created in a lab. Who knows? Yeah. By who knows? Maybe uh. a bat, maybe a human being whose job it was to create it. <laughs> Stop taking your work home with you. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you worried that we're spreading misinformation and people are dying as a result? No. No, just demonification. You think? Demonification. Like, come no, on. Like, how are you going to say enough. voluptuous? Like, <laughs> I can't even fathom <laughs> that you would ever come at me for voluptuous. Son. Yeah, but I do that. Oh, so this Mark, is me. Mark, Mark. This is Shut me. The I know, fuck right? Up, son. It's your thick thighs. <laughs> Yo, <son. laughs> Sorry, boomer. Did your dick <laughs> just hit that off the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. He pointed out his thighs. He's like, ring. Yeah, uh, Mark coming through with the thickness, bro. Dude. Okay, um, let's talk. Let's can we have a real conversation? Yeah, let's be serious. Let's start. Let's start. Okay, let's start the <laughs> podcast, dude. Because yeah. you guys are let's fucking liberal cucks. Yeah, yeah, let's start, dude. Okay, what else is happening? Popeyes is beefing up security and inventory for the release of their new chicken nuggets. Mm. This shit is like Jordans are dropping. Son, that do you feel disrespected by this? I'll be honest. Why? I, it's a little bit racialist. Well, it's a little racist. Why? It was all white people running around. The, like y'all were surrounding that motherfucker at, when we were in Chicago. All white people. Asian provocateur. When we were in Chicago, we're not Asian, all were white, white people. Asian provocateur. <laughs> Caucasian provocateur. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Caucasian <laughs> provocateur, okay. dude. That's what that was. Those were FBI yeah. agents. Paid for by. Was there violence at that, at that one? <laughs> almost. Huh? Almost. What happened? You almost fought somebody for a chicken sandwich? Nah, not me. They actually ran out of the chicken sandwich and people were tight. Ooh. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you think that that is enough um, reparations if we just let you guys get the chicken first? No. You guys can cut the line at Popeyes when the chicken nuggets drop. Can we just forget huh? about this whole slavery ah. thing? I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> can we just forget about it? Can we just call it even? No, nah, I already told you. What's that? We don't pay taxes. Boom. Even. Forever? Forever. How about, I mean. No federal tax. Forever? Forever. There wasn't slavery forever. Yeah, it's true. There wasn't slavery forever. All right. However long it was. I think 25 years. 25 years. <laughs> years well that was the bad part it was like yeah, yeah 10 yeah, years yeah. of bad like yeah, bad, yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah, 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 nah but we yeah. rounded up saying like 400 years like 400 <laughs> years that sounds about oh it. shit yeah. but you you don't pay taxes as long as the state that you live in had slavery oh okay oh, so shit, you a lot of black there. people are gonna start moving to the south we already started you're gonna move to the, the most racist places and then it's gonna how be bad all you black. Will not pay taxes and then it's gonna be all black and then it's going to be Atlanta. And that's how you fix it. Boom. But gotcha. then all the race people are going to move to where there's no black people. Don't they're, they do that already? But they're going to move north. So <laughs> now we have a complete flip in ideology. <laughs> and everything's all segregated. Races, oh, my God, dude. So the southern states, we got all the great weather. We got all the fucking vibe. Wow. And the north is just shit. Yeah, but you got to leave New York, dog. <laughs> you got to sell New out New York. Yeah, you taxes would. on taxes. <laughs> they sell out New York. Would. You'd move you to don't fucking even love. Take off your hat, dog. You're <laughs> not a New Yorker. You fucking sell out. ATL, dude. baby. ATL. P out. Out. <laughs> what I mean, sir. He would like ATL. <laughs> God damn, you don't know nothing, bro. Any of the hands. ATL up, P Town down. What the fuck he's saying? He's up. A Town down. Come on, dog. I'm not from Atlanta. Why would I know that gay shit? Yeah, where all the. Right. <laughs> like, I don't know. Where. So asking oh, to fly whoa. to Vegas to see Usher at oh, the... Wow. I was, a, I was wow. a little sad that we can't go to this concert, too. Wow. What concerts do you want to go to? Uh, Usher has a residency in Vegas. Okay. That's lit. And you what's know. the issue? We're working. We're touring. But we also are going to Vegas. But he's, yeah, he's, he's he not stops there. in August and restarts in December. Unless, Usher, you'd like to make an appearance on uh, October 2nd with us. Oh. <laughs> Done. We can have Andrew dance into the video. Alex will be watching because he got no rhythm. 
<laughs> that is a pro way tip, more though. Rhythm, son. I was Andrew got girls because he could dance. You barely dance at my way. I killed you. Barely dance. You ain't see it. Oh, you didn't yeah. see him line dancing at the country bar in son. Miami? I do, oh, I do shit. Country, I do oh, Indian. I shit. do everything, son. Your boy is Bruh. nice with it. Yeah. I just don't do ballet like something, but it's Yo, all right. You can't do ballet. You need legs. I know. Right? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You're right. Definitely I'm sorry. I'm a man. Ballet. Try to plie. A, a snap a, his knees. Dude, immediately. <laughs> I'm a man Bro, who touched my do a squat. dick and balls above my legs like can you a do man. A squat? So. Can you do a squat? Like a, <laughs> an air squat? Can you do a squat? Can you do a body weight squat? Can you squat your own body? I can do it. I don't think that you can squat your own body. I squatted more than you when we were in LA. What are you talking about? There's no way. What are you talking about? I squat 350. No, you don't. I squat 350. No, you don't. I squat three plates each side. Yo, you can take Akash on your shoulders right now you can't uh, squat him I can squat him right now you can't squat you let's go right now hundred dollars you squat hundred dollars I'm not getting on his oh, shoulders no, 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 no. hundred dollars <laughs> right hundred dollars and all I gotta do is squat Akash on my shoulders all so you gotta do how low do I have to go because I have limited mobility with my ankles <laughs> So, like I can't go too deep I can't go ass to the grass is what I'm trying to say I've never Bro, had that's a real squat to... I can't physically do that <sighs> So then you can't squat. No, I can't squat. So you can't squat. Can no, you it's squat? Yes, Air, body weight squat right now. How body much? weight squat. Do How one much? body weight squat. You can do a body weight squat. How much? You can do a body weight squat. I'm going to do a squat with Akash. Do, is it front squat? Do I keep him in front of my face like this, or do I do a back yes. squat? Dick face in your face. Dick face, face. Dick face your okay. face. I, do I, do, I can front squat him. I can front squat him. Let's go right easy. now. Yeah. Let's go. Right now. But right you have to do a squat as well. All right, you go first. Squat with Dove. With, oh, oh, yeah. oh no! <laughs> Come on, Duff. Come on! Squat, uh, uh, fire, I'd rather take shifty. Fireman's carry. Fireman's carry. Duff over both shoulders like that, like a towel. After the gym, you have to do a squat with him, and I will squat. Front squat, Akash, and back squat, Akash. Yeah, but I'll take shifty, though. <laughs> Say what? I'll no, take no, shifty. You have to do dub. Son, Why are you dub? scared, son? Why are you scared? I thought you could do more than me. Why are you oh, I'm trying good. not to call dub fat, all right? <laughs> Come on, trying to kill dub. Oh, it's weight. I'm looking. Nah, shifty is lighter than you, though. Shifty's lighter than him, but he's also been here for only 18 years. I called out Akash because he's a midget. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's offensive, I, I helped you out, That's offensive, Al. That's offensive. Why are you trying to hurt his feelings, bro? Yeah, I'm right here, dog. Dude. I could have said bark and offensive beef cake. <laughs> That's offensive to midgets also, bro. Why are you trying to say midget all the time? Yeah. That's I mean, offensive terminology, Al. I'm sorry. They Same are a little tall. Yeah, My come bad. on. A-town up, P-town down, bro. <laughs> yeah, right. Fucking this guy the real piece of shit. Yeah. I'm gonna squat Akash right oh. now, bitch. Go. And then I will <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go, let's go. Alright. Alright. Oh. Okay, so here we go. So oh. Akash is now standing on the table. And okay. and Andrew is holding him and now piggyback? Have you wanna do it? Oh my god. Okay, so oh now he's god. standing. Yep. He's standing. Oh, this table's going down. Here we go. This table. I wasn't, I wasn't, I mean, it wasn't 90, 90 degree angle. It wasn't 90 degree angle. Hey, yo, <laughs> yo, shifty, shifty. No, no, let's go. Get double. Nah, yeah, you get said dub. you were stronger. Get up. Nah, nah. No, 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 no. Get let's go. Get up. twice him. Get up. Do follow. Get up. All right, fine. Front squat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we good. 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 Oh my! Oh my! God. Hey, now he's hitting the front squat. Uh, yeah. Oh! Out. Hit the front squat. That's disgusting. Oh. All right. So now That's Al owes you a hundred bucks. Okay. I need a hundred bucks from you. I need a hundred bucks from you, and I need you to do it. Hey, real talk. I'm impressed. Come on, son. I don't play games. Three fifty. I squat three fifty. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, dog. <laughs> if I squat him, we even. Listen. No, no, you still owe me the hundred. How do I owe you if I do squat? You gotta do front squat too. Are we doing the fireman thing? No, 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 This is good. This is good. Listen, listen. All right, listen. I'll make sure he won't like it. I'll make sure he won't like it. He's a Jew. Okay, okay. okay. Shit, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh my God, he almost broke the grass. Oh, oh. He can't do it. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. I need my hundred. 
honey. I need yeah. my honey. Hey, everybody saw it home. Nah, nah, everybody nah, home nah, 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 bro. Nah, 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 nah bro. Nah, it's over, bro. It's hold over, hold dog. It's hold on, son. 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 I know you can. Oh, no. Dove said he could do oh, you. Oh, shit. Dove, Dove said he could squat you. Hey, get on his back, little bitch. I thought I got to work out some legs, Come on, bro. You do, bro. Dog, that is embarrassing, You can squat out? Easy, he said. Easy. Nah, wow. go Mark, Mark. Let's let's, let's let... get Mark him up. What? <laughs> 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 that is true. Mark has been commenting. Yeah, right? I got a knee injury, bro. Nah, Come nah, knee injury. nah. He gonna squat he you, gonna squat son. You. Come on, let's go. I, I, Don't worry I, about your knees, me. bro. What's the challenge, though? I'm not in this. This is. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, we don't need to let the white man divide us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Al, so I need my hundred for me. I got bro. you. I got you. Come on. <laughs> You want me to vend you more you? I want to cash. What did you say, bro? You just said Vendemo. Vendemo. Oh, I said Vendemo. No, nah, you fucked nah, up. Nah, speak, nah, you came at me. Nah, one I was bro. laughing. You came at me. I one had one. what? You gotta say every yeah. word precisely. Oh, right. Precisely. <laughs> say all that shit precisely, dog. P E R. Precisely. Tell it too. And I want to know where the origins, bro. <laughs> okay, can we get back to this? Al, what yeah, you looking on your phone? Let's for? be serious. Let's be. What you got on your phone? Leg exercises. Oh, no, no, we're not doing that, dude. Cash. I need cash from you. Once. Once. I need, I need, no, no, I need a $100 bill. Cash. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about Angelina Jolie having a stolen baby. Did you oh, hear about shit. This? Uh, you were talking about this. I need to oh, hear you guys this. So the woman that she got her baby, Maddox, the, uh, the Filipino or whatever kid. Cambodian, I think. Cambodian, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Same Chinese. Thank you for clarifying. I really appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe there's a big the story would not be accurate. Maybe there's a lot of that. Cambodians listening. Yeah, yeah, Maybe true. there might be a big hey, Cambodian. Yeah. Fan hey, get a hold of CNN over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, independent fact checkers verify that that was misinformation. <laughs> so that misinformation has to be corrected. So we got um, this Cambodian kid, uh, this woman by the name of Galinda or something like that. I have the exact notes here. Basically, this woman gets arrested and she's jailed in 2004 for falsifying documents to obtain U.S. visas for orphans. Ooh. Scandals first exposed. Jolie said she knew nothing about the illegal trade. <laughs> Do we have to call Angelina Jolie the womb raider? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the whole reason we did the whole this? <laughs> the whole reason. The only reason I brought this stupid fucking story. <laughs> I applaud it. For Womb Raider. I applaud okay? it. That was pretty good. good. That was okay. really good. Now, um, full disclosure. <laughs> yeah. Just because I know he's seething right now. Yeah. That was that face joke. <laughs> but I wanted to get the credit so that he could just sit there in his yeah. fucking stupid house in England. Just imagine him li living in the Shire too. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> like, that's where he lives, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just a like, whole grass covering Hagrid, his whole bro. place. Yeah, 100%. he's Hagrid. Yeah, <laughs> son. Dude, he's our Hagrid. That's Flagrant 2's Hagrid. Hey, Ian Mubarak, you fucking. <laughs> Bombing. <laughs> no, no wonder he had to say his joke. Go back to Womb Raider. Oh, come on. Yeah. Speaking of bombs. <laughs> uh, but not Ian Mubarak, you uh, Muzzies that are listening. Yeah, shout out. It's their shit. But if you're the kid that got adopted and stolen from your rightful parents, are you very grateful that you got adopted by Angelina Jolie? That's not bad. That's not bad, bro. Yeah. Does he hate Brad Pitt, though, right now? He does? Why? Because she did that. She divided. Oh, there's been like, yeah, there's a still a custody battle going on. There's. Oh, really? Yeah. He doesn't have. He's admitted he doesn't have a big relationship with her. Oh shit! I didn't know that. I don't follow gay news. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you even know about that kind yeah, of shit? Right. Yeah. Deep. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because with today's low interest, it's a great time to refinance your student loan. Save yourself some goddamn money, okay? Break out of that student debt cycle, and you know what, Ernest is going to be the company that can help you by refinancing those student loans for you. Times are tough, okay? You can use a couple extra bucks, and if Ernest can help you do that by that refi, then you might as well get to making it fucking happen, okay? Ernest offers low-rate student loan refinancing, and you can check your rate risk-free in just two minutes. Two minutes to save yourself some money? No brainer. With Ernest, you get radically flexible payments, and you can pick your loan term. By refinancing, you can reduce your loan term, save money, or combine multiple loans into a simple monthly payment. And if you have questions, you can even talk to a real-life human at Ernest for help. Isn't it time you stop feeling overwhelmed by your student debt? 
Ernest is offering our listeners a $100 cash bonus. Refinance your student debt at earnest.com slash flagrant. Remember, terms and conditions apply. Now, Ernest is giving our listeners a $100 bonus. Refinancing your student loans at earnest.com slash flagrant. Terms and conditions apply. Once again, you get a $100 cash bonus when you visit earnest.com slash flagrant to refinance your student loan. Not available in all states. Terms and conditions apply. And lastly, you visit earnest.com slash flagrant for more details. Terms and conditions <laughs> apply. Earnest student loan refinancing made by Earnest Operations LLC. NMLS number one. 2049117 California Financing Law License Number 6054788303 Second Street Suite 401 N San Francisco California 94107 Visit Ernest.com slash licenses for a full list of licenses. Now let's get back to the show. Okay. What else we got, man? What else we got? All right, LA's going back under mask Ooh, mandate. Yeah, he's pussy. Are we heading for another lockdown across the nation? Let's have that conversation. What do you guys think? Mm, I don't think no, so. we should not. Not across the nation. We know that for a fact. Yeah. Right? There are certain states that aren't going to do it. Yeah, Florida's but not touching it. Texas is not Florida, touching it. In, te- in Florida's rate right now, I think it was Dade County, is a uh, COVID rate is 8.5%. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's 3.5 in LA, and now they're doing the mask. Fuck. But let's mm. admit it: the Delta variant that people are like, it's real. It's fi- it's, it's real. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's real. It's real. Yeah. You guys, we agree. It's you guys. Delta variant is. You I guys. told y'all. Funny how they try I to make told it, like, y'all. We're gonna call it a Greek letter. Like we don't fucking know. We know. I told y'all. We know. Delta. As soon as there's some shit developed there, I was like, this is coming. Delta. It's gonna fuck all y'all up. Yeah. Yeah. Delta. Wait Delta. You guys. Coming. So I'm here's the thing. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be Marco. We're sure. all shutting it down, though. But here's the thing that's interesting <laughs> about it. For <laughs> sure. Everything's getting shut down. Uh, well, at least in L.A. And to be honest, this was the reason why we had to switch the uh, special taping. Mm. It was literally something like this, right? Like, we were originally going to tape the special in L.A. We still are doing the shows. The st- shows are still on in L.A. Can't wait for those shows at Orpheum. Amazing. Very excited. But our concern was they might put in new restrictions. They might not even let us perform. Just because they were opening up in the summer doesn't mean in the fall. Right. It would still be open. So that's why we push it to uh, <laughs> to Austin. But um, but I, the thing that's really interesting about this lockdown is the, the spike is all in unvaccinated people. Yep. And everybody that's unvaccinated right now is doing that by their own by choice. choice. Mm. If you die of COVID because you don't want to get vaccinated, you have the right to do that. That's totally fine. Yeah. But we're not shutting everything down because these motherfuckers. Oh. Yeah. No. I, sorry. I do not believe in that. They don't want to get vaccinated. Yep. It don't matter how many juvenile songs you play. It don't matter if <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo is telling you to get vaccinated. Yep. It don't matter who the fuck tells you to get lottery. vaccinated. The lottery. They're doing the lottery. The lottery. Yeah. What is that? They're in Ohio, they're like, if you get vaccinated, you're entered into a lottery for a million dollars. Oh, wow. So they're doing everything in their power. They're like, we'll give a person a million dollars. Let them yeah. die. <coughs> All right. I 100%. I 100%. Let them die. Darwinism is Darwinism. Now, here's the wrench. They're saying that it's people that are vaccinated getting it. No, no, no. That, the very, Mortality very... rate is 99.5% amongst the unvaccinated. Yeah. You get it and you don't die. All right, keep it moving. That happens with the flu you might to millions of people every year. People are getting the Delta variant. Chris Paul got the Delta yeah. variant, even though he was vaccinated, allegedly vaccinated. You can still get it, even though you're vaccinated, but it looks like the vaccines have been able to handle it. Yes. At least Moderna and Pfizer. Pfizer. Since when have we shut shit down for something that makes you sick and you recover mm-hmm. from it? That's not something we that do. People want to take the risk. Yeah. These people are saying, I would like, you have the right, this is America, there's some freedom here, you have the right to take the risk of your own life 100%. if you choose. People are allowed to go skydiving. People are allowed to go scuba diving. Yeah. People are allowed to go fast in cars and a fucking racetrack. They're allowed, they're allowed to, to own go, guns. They're allowed to surf. They're allowed to surf big waves. Surfing big waves is legal. I guarantee you <laughs> the amount of people that die surfing big waves is way higher than the amount of people that die from COVID who are unvaccinated. Yeah. Percentage-wise. Yeah. Guaranteed. Okay. I guarantee the, the amount of people that just work at, at a fucking uh, gas station at night like the percentage of people that get killed doing that job is way higher. It's yep. still a job. Yep. Yeah. People choose to do it. Am I off? No. Nope. No, Just- you have the choice. And this is what I envy in like an Amsterdam type government. Typically, I remember I got a tour there and they're like, we let people choose. If you want to be an idiot and die, we don't put laws in place to keep you alive. That's fine. Go. Like you don't have to wear a helmet when riding your bike or whatever. Like if you die, you die. That's it. Mm. Same with COVID. If you don't want to get the vaccine and you die, that's kind of funny in the same way that if, if you would think <laughs> if I have a kid with three arms, He's probably just Indian, but you know, I mean, if it could be the vaccine, that's funny to y'all. Yeah. We make our choices. If you die, you die. That I'm not shutting shit down because you don't want to get the vaccine. If you die, that's on you. Hundred yep. percent. 
You haven't been vaccinated, Mark. Right. Neither of you, Al. How do you guys feel about this? I don't think you guys plan on getting vaccinated. Yeah, I, I don't. If you die and you didn't get vaccinated, you're dead. Like that's on you. But do you, you feel chose responsible for another shutdown if we do get shut down? No. I don't think they should. I think they should get vaccinated, whatever. But if you get shut, if we get shut down, that's the government trying to protect people who don't care to be protected. No, it's the government that's trying the to government. protect themselves, right? Because if if your governor and X amount of people die under your watch, then the person that you're running against is going to go, see, while well, he was governor, he fucked up COVID, and this many people died. So they're trying yes, to limit yeah. the deaths during their uh, term, right? Knowing that and yep. knowing how governments operate, do you feel, if there was another lockdown, would you feel partially responsible? Because you know how governments operate. Regardless how you, if it's <clears throat> right or wrong, you know that that is the way that they do it. Yeah, but like if uh, like scrupulous and like some would say a corrupt government is like gonna impose a sanction like that and then blame a specific group of people i don't think that's necessarily on the group of people that's the government's decision to do that right but knowing that the government will do that and knowing that you're gonna have to deal with the repercussions of that decision meaning you might not <clears throat> be able to tour or you may not be able to do stand-up or mm -hmm. you might not be able to just go out to dinner or the things you want to do is it is it still worth it for you to not get vaccinated? I, I'm asking not as like a joke. No, I mean, if eventually if the obligation is I have to get it in order to like do the job and like live, then like I'll get it. I'm not necessarily against getting it. I just don't think it's necessary for me because I've already had COVID. Right. Twice. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I had a double shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got my second shot. You got the double shot of the real yeah. thing. That's and funny. like, it seems like data saying that if you've been, if you have natural immunity from getting COVID and have antibodies, like, so far, a year later, like, they say it's still resistant. Right. And even to the Delta variant. So I'm like, I, just, I don't see that it's necessary to take it, considering that there are some implicit risks with the vaccine. I'm like, yeah, it's just, I don't see the need for me. What do we know for a fact is the risk? We don't know anything. There's, like, small rates of, like, heart inflammation and things like that, where I'm like, it's just not. But we don't it. know. We can't even attribute those to only the vaccine, right? There's just not enough data. No, I think they did. That's why they, like, put out the CDC, put out the warning that, like, there are certain cases, but they that still was suggest Johnson and Johnson, right? Johnson Johnson, <laughs> and also the Moderna one. But that's where they were like, but still encouraging people to get it because those cases are so so small and so few. There's like seven out of like, but 10 it's still million. maybe right. It's not guaranteed correlated to that. Yeah, seven out of ten million is also like dude, ibuprofen fucks people up. Yeah, like, yeah, probably. it could be heart inflammation if you have. Uh, if you're gonna not believe in medicine, I'm kind of like, don't take fucking heart pressure medicine. Don't take none of that shit. Because they seem to have way more side effects in this vaccine. Yeah. So just don't believe in medicine. Don't be selectively believe in it. No, my thing is, like, if I don't like to take ibuprofen unless I really need to. Here's a question. That, uh, that's fair. Here's yeah. a question I have for you guys. If there was a Republican president, if Trump was president. Who is vaccinated, by the way. Right. Yeah, they all are. DeSantis is, too. Wait for it. Wait for it. If Trump was president, do Democrats take the vaccine? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, 100%. I do. If Trump is president and he's pushing for vaccination, because I think he would, because he's like, whatever opens the fucking country up so we can start making money again. I wonder if there is a part of the Democratic Party, maybe a part that out of rejection to Trump. Yeah, they mm -hmm. go, well, there could be, you know, negative side effects with this. Not enough testing has been done. Like you have to respect the scientific method, mm -hmm. and you, it takes years before we could inject something in our bodies. We don't know what this will do. I wonder if there would be that anti-Trump reaction. Well, what's interesting is Trump takes credit for the vaccine. The vaccine was created under my presidency, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's still. I remember driving in Fort Lauderdale, huge banner said, "Thank you, President Trump, for the vaccine." Mm. Still, a bunch of those people aren't taking the vaccine, mm. so it's an odd thing. Mm. Like it's a little inconsistent to me in that you want this guy to get credit for the vaccine. Then you discredit the vaccine. Okay, so here's my follow-up question. Would more people be vaccinated if Trump was president? Nationally? Because now yes. it's become a political issue where yes. the right <laughs> is going, I don't want to get vaccinated out of a rejection of the left. Like Biden is going to come home to home and vaccinate all these people. And it, mm. it's become like this thing of pushback. It's been politicized. But, but they were giving pushback even when Trump. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. And there's a certain amount of people who are just not going to get vaccinated, yeah. right? And I'm not even going to push judgment upon them. Like, that's just not what they believe in. That's fine. Okay. Mm. But if Trump was president, the majority of the people who aren't getting vaccinated tend to be conservative leaning. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Some of those people are going to go, well, if our guy says yep. it's all right. Yep. Not all. Some. Then we'll do it. But if Biden is saying it's like, fuck that guy and everybody. I don't trust he, that guy. I don't trust his it. whole party. Gotcha. He's just a uh, mouthpiece for his party. Fuck them. I'm not taking this. So thing. are we ready to say that less people would have died <clears throat> of COVID 
<laughs> if Trump was president. I'm just, it sounds crazy, but you do you need Juvenile to fucking sing? <laughs> you don't need Olivia Rodrigo. He's ch- Trump more powerful than all these people. Trump would get the Nelk boys there if you get vaccinated <laughs> on a vlog. Yeah. But I don't know that he might have said that like the national mask mandate and like all those other measures were up sooner and then people might have been out sooner. And then more people died. And then potentially that's, got that's fair. Got COVID that way. That's fair. And then maybe more black people reject it. Yeah. Because Trump would've... is doing it. Exactly. Right? So think, more I black think, people rejected. I, I just think <laughs> there's, there's already skepticism and now you got a perfect reason why. Like, I don't trust nothing Trump is gonna put in me, blah blah blah. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know how that happened. Damn, bro, you girl on your phone, dog. <laughs> that is weird. Yeah, that was a little wild. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, don't I know, think man. you're right. I think raw numbers, more people would be vaccinated if, if Trump, Trump was. was. And I think that would be more effective than, like, if you lifted the mask mandate, but more people got vaccinated, probably the numbers would be down. Do you think New York can shut down again? I think Cuomo has been pretty strong in that, like, hey, we're going to open up in July. We're on track. And he hasn't been backtracking a lot. It doesn't seem like he's been hedging a lot, is what I'm looking for. So I think I have more faith in New York than than Cali. Mm. I mean, Newsom is just the, the mega cuck. Yeah, he's a cuck. Mm-hmm. Just a fucking plastic bag in the wind, dude. <laughs> dude. Wherever the wind flows, that guy will go. Yeah. What an absolute bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy, dude. Fuck him. <laughs> Never heard him talk before. <laughs> but yeah, any any place that the governor says to shut down, they'll, they'll shut down. Like, I don't think it's a question of, like, can they or will they? It's just, like, if the governor says to. Because the, the businesses are obligated to follow the law. Mm. Or else they'll get fined or shut down. So they're like, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to shut down again. Yeah, I just don't think he'll do it again. It was uh, such yeah. a huge impact to New York. Like, yeah. everyone left. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah you're right. It but, fucked but, New York. But We left. But, yeah. but, but, to see how fast New York rebounded. Like, remember our first conversation, Al Toucher put out that article, New York's not going to be the same, and he had this thing about, like, remote working and all this other shit. Like, oh, yeah, sure. to see the way that rents have skyrocketed yeah. in 30 days. Yeah, we 30 days since we've been it, it, Businesses flourishing. Like, the businesses that did stay open and managed to make it through now have double the seating, and they're packed. They're making twice as much money because they have this huge outdoor sections that didn't exist before. Mm. Right. They're making twice as much money as they made before. Restaurant reservations through the roof. And they're still struggling because they can't even hire the service staff oh, yeah, who they, don't want to come off of... Uh, they don't uh, want to come off, off of the unemployment. Uh, another thing, luxury goods. There's a Sorry, to that point, there's a restaurant in like Lincoln Center. It's still shut down because they just can't hire wait staff. Yeah. Bro, when we were in Denver this past weekend, I'm looking up at the shows, and we look in, in the balcony. I see some empty seats on the balcony. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? This show's been sold out for two months. Like, wh- wh- What's going on? And I asked the GM, and the guy goes, I'm sorry. We can't physically hire people. But it was interesting. He said, like, we just can't hire people. And I thought it was really funny because the solution to, like, getting staff is, like, just paying them a livable wage. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's so funny because restaurants go, like, we just can't hire people. It's like, no, you can't. You just have to pay them more than they're making on unemployment. Yeah. Why the fuck would they come back and work for you when yeah. they can make the same Well, they just money? blame the unemployment. They're like, fuck, unemployment, de-incentivized working. Not your 275 an hour. The, uh, the yeah. government giving people money who need it. They're the ones that are fucking you. Pieces of shit. Yeah, dude. But that's what happens to everybody. Like, the garages in New York, they're not 24 hours anymore, most of them, because they just can't get guys to work oh, shit. from 12 uh, a.m. Yeah. until the morning. Yeah. So there's, like, that, like, you know, six-hour shift or whatever where nobody's there. And it's like, there is an easy way. Yeah. Just pay them. Yeah. Like, if there's one thing maybe that we take away from this whole thing is, like, if you give people free money... You have to give them more to work for it. And parking garages is the most foul because it's like, what overhead do you have? You need one guy there to park a fucking car at midnight. Yeah. Like a restaurant, you could say, oh, overhead bills you got to pay. Yeah. So many things you got. A parking lot, it just sits there yeah. and holds your car. That's all it does. Mm-hmm. You got to pay one motherfucker yeah. an extra $5 an hour for five hours. And you're like, no, I'm not. 50 bucks a day? What are you, crazy? I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. That's wild. <laughs> it is crazy, man. It's just fucking crazy. I don't know. It's so, also crazy because it's 25 more per day. It's 25 what? You said 50. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, 25. For what? what Hell yeah, say? An extra 25 an hour. Or an extra uh, 25 a day, not 50. It's just I don't know. Anytime I can just get back because of the Tesla, <laughs> I'm just looking <laughs> <up>. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is it's interesting, and I would not be surprised if New York shuts down again, dude. 
Really? And the reason why I say that is because of how quickly it rebounded. Mm. I think that they'll just go, hey, see how quick New York was back? Well, we're just going to shut down for a little, and then we'll be right back like we were. But my nah, question man. is, how Fuck long no. are they just going to be operating with, like, emergency, like, uh, Money? Gover- government measures? Because, like, right now the government is able to do all those kinds of things because they're operating, like, a state of emergency or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, like, how, is that just, are they just going to be in this perpetual state of emergency where they can just over, like, just jump over, like, legislative hoops yep. and just... As long in. as you cucks don't get vaccinated, as long as you <laughs> unvaccinated motherfuckers are out there dying from COVID, this will happen. And they'll have the power to do it and then be able to justify it. And the rich won't care because the rich just got richer during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, who's going to give pushback? The only people that can give pushback and actually change the legislation are rich motherfuckers. And if they all made 50% more money during the pandemic, you think they're going to say no to another And they don't got to listen to your lockdown rules. They're flying wherever the fuck they want to on private jets. Mm-hmm. I'm social distanced. As I can be. As long as you flood the you know the stock market with enough cash that keeps the stocks up, so I'm not losing any of my money because I hide it all in the fucking stock market anyway. Well, not even hide it, but that's where I place it. I'm like, yeah, they're not pissed. They're not pissed at inflation either because now their money's in cash. Right. Only idiots like me keep their money in cash, right? They got all their money in the stock market, so those stocks just keep on rising at the level of inflation. Everything evens out. Yeah. Mm. They, they, <sighs> but if, they're, if the metric is, oh, like cases are going up, and people can still get cases in small amounts with the vaccine, then like they'll just keep on going forever, even if everyone's vaccinated. The metric is not cases, it's, uh, it's deaths. Oh, I thought it was cases, but I'm pretty maybe sure it's, it's deaths. deaths. Yeah. I'm pr- I mean, listen, if it's just cases, again, I think people would be like, Doug, the flu ravages us every winter. We don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. It kills a small percentage of people. Mm. Right. This is, if it's just you're getting sick and you're recovering, I don't think you can shut down justifiably. I think it's just too much uproar. There's going to be uproar over I'll this. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. If they shut this shit down again, we out again. I like hearing that. We out again. I, I'm, I'm being dead serious. I'm not doing it. If they shut it, if they shut this shit down again, we are out again. It's going to be the day after I sign a lease. 100%. <laughs> Me too, motherfucker. I still can't get in my shit either. But like, yeah, 100%. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. It's, it, if it's like a week-long thing or whatever like that, then that's fine. But if they, if we're literally going through the same thing that we went through last time, there's a new variant that comes out, or next year's COVID, COVID-20 comes through and just starts fucking killing people again, we're going to Florida, and we're going earlier. <laughs> or we're going to another place that's wide open. Mm. But uh, it's no way to live life if we have the opportunity to do it. I mean, do you guys agree? Yes. Al? I didn't want to come back in the first place. <laughs> but Al, <laughs> we really putting the what the fuck in WTF media yeah, studio. Yeah, yep. <laughs> that's the yeah. government, yo. That's yeah. you, bro. That's you. you if mean? more people just got vaccinated, this wouldn't be happening. Yeah, you brought this on you. Point. It's really your karma. Let's talk about some sports before we get out of here. Right. Um, UFC. There's this fight over the weekend that we watched in the most fire green room ever that is just outside it's not really a green room we kind of like made it that mm-hmm. but they like own the restaurant that's upstairs from the comedy club and right. they just have this like big terrace oh, that's so they amazing. Just have, like a terrace and when you're doing three shows and you're like in a green room for eight hours oh it can really wear on you but mm-hmm. then you go outside it's beautiful so we're watching the fight islam we also almost died climbing up the stairs also that, that. <laughs> they're the elevation you know it's crazy we're just oh, passing yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. islam mahashev or something I, I don't know exactly yeah. how to pronounce the name so um he fights this other guy. Khabib's guy, right? Yeah, Khabib's, Khabib's guy. Here's the thing that's really interesting and made me realize what's going on uh, with the UFC and why they have a big problem. They potentially have a big problem where their most dominant fighters uh, are not interesting. He's, he's incredibly dominant. He's brilliant in his ability to like control the fight, uh, but it's wildly boring for the casual. I'm sure if you're a wrestling fan or a grappling fan, like seeing this guy's like use of his weight and like movement of his hips and his ability to maintain control is really exciting. You know, like watching a chess match or something like that for someone who's really into chess is exciting. But for someone who's never played is like, what the fuck is this boring ass game? Right. Mm-hmm. So the people that are the highest uh, money making fighters in the UFC, right. Are not guys who have these like amazing records, right. You're looking at Connor, uh, Nate Diaz, and I think Jorge Masvidal. Mm-hmm. All guys who have lost right. their last fight. Uh, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz, if you looked at their records, are, are journeymen, essentially. Connor is maybe the most engaging sports figure of the last, uh, I don't know, 25 years. Right. It's unbelievable what this guy can do. They fight in exciting ways. Strikers going for knockouts, yeah. big-time fights. They can promote the fuck out of a fight. My concern for the UFC and for Dana White is what is he to do with a guy who is not very exciting in the promo or buildup of mm-hmm. the fight? You know, uh, the people in Khabib camp are, are about like respect and uh, not really 
uh, ruffling feathers, not saying anything that could be uh, disrespectful or even hurtful to an opponent, uh, just coming out there and getting it done. Well, this isn't the Olympics. Yeah. This is the entertainment business. Yeah. We're selling pay-per-views. Selling fucking pay-per-views. You're not engaging in the pre-fight. You're not engaging in the post-fight. During the fight, it's boring as fuck because you're just on top of the guy the whole time. Is Dana White terrified that this is going to be the next guy who dominates the division? I think he's okay because he's got enough other people. And I think the sport has been growing, and it grew with Khabib, and there will be somebody who will provoke this motherfucker. Mm. Somebody going to come around. You're going to get another Connor. You got Izzy here. He gonna like You're still going to make your money for Dana White, and then you can point to this guy and call him the technician or whatever. Mm. Not everybody has to be Izzy, Connor, Nate Diaz. You got those guys to carry, and then you got these other guys to say, oh, look how technically superior he is. Mm. I think. That's what I'm thinking as I'm hearing this out loud. Like, you need a guy like that. You need a guy like Khabib. You need a guy like this to be like, oh, look how good and dominant he is. And then you need the other guys like Masvidal to be like, man, that guy's just fun, huh? Let's just watch this. Well, Otherwise, it made, it's just a spectacle. It made me look at this and go like, holy shit, Khabib really needed Connor. Yes. I don't think anybody gave a fuck about Khabib no. without Connor. No. And he is the most dominant person that's ever fought in the sport. Yeah. But Connor comes around, that rivalry really props up Khabib. Yeah. And Khabib gets to profit off of that rivalry. Yeah. Right? Like all the antics and shit that happens around the Connor Khabib fight. Yeah. I mean, next level. Yeah. So it's just like, is Khabib as financially viable as he is now without Connor? I don't think so. No. Like we almost like. And also, he's kind of a he's kind of charismatic. He's he understands entertainment. He's more so than this other dude. Yeah. But like, I'm, I kind of really built up the mystique of Khabib. One hundred percent. Now, I don't think Khabib Khabib is really driven by money, from what it seems. Yeah. He loves to fight and he'll take money, but he don't really seem that driven by it. Yeah. So I don't want to act like he's hypocritical or whatever. But like, for sure, I didn't know about Khabib until Connor. Yeah. And I'm a very much a casual. If yeah. That. So I guess what I'm what I'm saying is like. If these guys, yeah, these guys meaning like the Dagestani wrestler types, right, are going to be dominant in the UFC, you need to make sure that you're pairing them yes. with incredibly charismatic and entertaining fighters, even if they beat them, that they can push and promote the fight. You know, it would be great. Dylan Donis. Yeah. If his, if his knee is right, <laughs> he'll promote the fuck out of that fight. But you need that. You need that. You need that because they're not going to promote it and they're not going to make it interesting. I have no interest in watching that guy fight again. He did nothing for me. Mm -hmm. If there's a fight with him next week and it's a pay-per-view, I'm not paying. I don't care unless the other guy on that card. And it's, it's just really interesting to see what's happening. And, like, I feel almost the same way with the Jake Paul-Tyron Woodley fight. Yeah. Like, I feel like Tyron, if you spoke to him and you had, like, a conversation, he'd probably have, like, cool stories, like, interesting fight stuff, background. He's probably, like, a good guy. Mm -hmm. But in terms of, like, raw entertainment value in like a press conference he's he's not interesting right one to one probably fucking amazing right raw entertainment not bringing it right i don't think there's a lot of curiosity about this fight and i think that jake picked the wrong opponent yeah jake's gonna have to carry this fucking promotion I think like he, crazy dude. i think he underestimated how much ben Askren did to help ben was amazing in the build-up of that yeah. fight because he's an incredibly entertaining character. Yep. Whether you like him or not, he's entertaining. I was definitely more intrigued when I saw that little thing where he shoved Ben and Ben, like, slapped his face or whatever it was. Touched, you know what I mean? Like, that yeah. made me more, like, talking shit. And like, uh, dude, are you jealous of your brother? I would end you in a street fight. Whatever he said, I would commit a homicide. Like, yeah. all that shit I made me more interested in this fight. Mm. This Tyron Woodley fight, I'm curious. But I'm not like, I gotta buy it. I'll buy it to talk about it here, but I don't have I mean, to. J all I'm saying is, like, Jake's going to have to work double time. Yeah. Like, He's already doing the thing with the tattoo. He's like, the loser gets the other person's ta name tattooed on their body. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's great stakes with that. Like, Glad I didn't bet that. I say, well, <laughs> 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 that's such a good bet, though. The stakes are good. Yeah. But will you pay the pay-per-view To see who gets the tattoo? Or will you just go, oh, okay, one of them won. I'll, see the, I'll go on Instagram and watch the tattoo. That. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think Tyron is interesting enough to where I want to see him either beat Jake Paul or... Jake Paul beat him. And I think Jake is in this interesting space where, like, because he's won a few of these fights, he's actually becoming likable. Mm. He's no longer really the underdog either. Like, 
Yeah, you're looking at him being like, oh yeah, he probably should be Tyron. Yeah, like, now we believe he's good. I'm looking at him. He looks way bigger. He looks like, taller. Bigger, he looks stronger. We believe he can hit. Paula had a good point. Like what? he's been training as a boxer for the last four years. That's it. And Tyron's been rapping. Yeah. Like doing other shit. Doing MMA stuff, kind yeah. of. Wrestling, like, like. Yeah. That kind of stuff's not helping you when you get in the ring. So now we're like, we believe in Jake's ability, and there's a likability attached to it because we're like. Yo, this guy who was like the Disney star punk is actually about that life. Yeah, he, he can go. Fuck you up yeah. in a ring, right? So now, the desire to see the Disney star kid get beaten up is limited, and the desire to watch the opponent fight at all is non-existent. So where's the interest in the fight? Yeah, like if if it was Nate Diaz fighting Jake, I'm in. You just love Nate so much. You're like, all right, Nate, shut the kid up. Yeah. But now I think a lot of people don't like Tyron. I think more people like Jake than Tyron. Mm -hmm. That is not the fighter that you want to fight. Yeah. Jake is amazing at garnering interest on the internet and being like a unlikable, a troll. Right. You, 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 he's amazing at getting people to go fuck Jake Paul. And you're signing up because you want to see him get knocked out. He's better as a heel. And if, but that's yeah. a way, way better way to say it. He's better as a heel and he's positioned himself as the face. Yeah. And it's not even his liking. He doesn't even want to be the face, I don't think. But I think that Tyron has so such a lack of interest yeah. that it leaves Jake as the face of the fight. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Do you have any interest? Do you guys have interest in it? When they announced the fight, I had no interest in it. Yeah, I had no interest in it. Mm. And Tyron's not, if you if you're a hero, you need a hero. Tyron's not a great hero. Like, That's the thing. He's he seems cool, but I'm not like, fuck, let's go. I would I don't know him to have a big fan following when he fought UFC even. No, that was a big issue with the UFC is that people didn't want to watch him fight. They thought the fights were boring. So now you're looking at a guy who wasn't a hero, and now we have to kind of make him the hero. And then all the heel stuff from Jake is just getting a little funnier and less heel-ish, yeah. less hateable. So the emotion's not there. The draw's not there. Yeah. I think they're just looking at it as like a stepping stone where they go, like, if we yeah, can Yeah, but he's got to win. If, if we he can, loses, he's fucked. Right. But if he's like, if we can beat, like, this likely beatable UFC champ. A former UFC champ. Like, that puts you now at the next. You beat a UFC guy. Now you beat a UFC champ. And I think that just opens up the staircase. I'm sure they have a whole, like, they have their whole chronicle of how they want it to go, yeah. I think. And okay, so then maybe you take a little bit of an L on this. I mean, I just don't see it. I mean, look, Jake has a way of galvanizing the internet. He'll find ways to make the thing most likely. But on his face? If he doesn't get, if he doesn't win this fight, he's fucked. If he wins this fight, the next one will probably be bigger. Because he got this under his belt. But my feeling is no matter who he fought, the next one's going to be bigger. Just... Make yeah. sure you engage with people that are engaging. Dude, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz right now would be fucking insane. Yeah, but like if he keeps on knocking out like former NBA guys, like that just gets old. It's like, all right, yeah, you can beat up the guys that. Depending are, how invested we are in those people. Like maybe. we're really invested in those people. If he I'd fights Allen Iverson. See that, really? Yeah. Yeah, if he's fighting someone that we love, if he fights Allen Iverson, you don't think motherfuckers are tuning into that shit? That's why I wish they should just yeah. keep it celebrity boxing. Yeah. Like, but he'll he just beat the shit it. out of celebrities. He'll beat the shit out of celebrities. But celebrities will talk more. Like, they'll make it more, like, it'd be fun. Yeah. Hey, that's a great point. The reason why the celebrity box is interesting is because they know how to entertain. Yeah. yeah. They know how to build up the fight. The, the crossover is the fighter who can entertain. Yeah. That's the crossover. That's why he wants Connor so badly. Mm. Yeah. My suspicion is I think he's trying to pivot into, like, a legit boxing career. Yeah. yeah. Or at least, like, semi-legit and, like, try to get, like, a prize fight with, like, Canelo or, like, Floyd or some shit. I don't think he wants a legit prize no. fight. You don't no. think so? And I think there are too many years. I, I, I think he's just... Canelo will fuck him up. He bro. started too late. Yeah. I it's... think he started too late to fight the elite of elites. Mm -hmm. I don't think he started too late to fight MMA guys that learned how to strike around his age as well. Right. Because a career wrestler yeah. that learned how to strike when they're 22 years old or something like that, when they entered MMA or something. he learned how to MMA strike. Seriously? Exactly. It's basically what he was doing. Mm -hmm. So now you're on a level playing field, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I, I think he's going for like a big pay-per-view fight. It's a Connor thing or yeah. somebody else who, who um, is a massive star in, the fi in fight sports, mm -hmm. but not necessarily uh, qualified as an elite boxer. Yeah. I don't think you want to do that. I think Adrian Broner. That would be the best one. I mean, that would be, be hilarious. That would be, be so much fun. Uh, the the buildup would yeah. be unbelievable. Yeah, that would be great. Real dude. talk. Yeah, Jake we don't might know. have a chance. Yeah. Oh, I I think he's too big for Adrian. Oh, okay, but I mean, because Adrian's tiny. Adrian's hundred. He's tinier than Floyd. Smaller than Floyd. Yes. 
Yes. Oh, I thought he was bigger than him. No, Adrian fought between like 135. I think I he think came he'll up put to on weight. Like Floyd walks around his his fight weight. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Adrian seems like he'll put on some weight, so he'll look bigger, and then for the fight he'll be uh, in fighting shape. Maybe that's like he I mean. don't carry. He doesn't stay in shape all year. Yeah, like Floyd yeah, yeah. Does. Well, he gets fat. Yeah. But like Adrian that's what is I mean. smaller than, than yes. Floyd. Yeah. And that's like a would fight smaller. Yeah. I want to say it nicer, but yeah, he gets fat in between fights. Gotcha. Floyd doesn't. Floyd stays in shape all year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shit would be entertaining. Yeah. For real. That's the fight. Yeah. He'll find something. Because we don't want to see Adrian fight boxers anymore and just keep getting beat up. Mm-hmm. Just end up fighting these celebs. That'd be great. Yeah. Oh, That'd be yeah. a great fight. Adrian got to get into the celeb boxing yeah. game. Yeah. All right. Well, look, guys. Um, anything else before we get out of here? No, nah, that's good. Okay. Well, we love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you on Patreon. Patreon.com slash flagrant2. We'll see you all over there. Peace. Peace.